Are you on Twitch right now? Because then you have to. I'm I'm starting. I'm starting it up right now. <coughs> I did suggest that maybe we started an hour early, but yeah. No, you wanted to watch uh, Amazon. Uh, no, no, we we finished that an hour early. Oh. That's why I suggest that we started earlier than what we. Yeah, but I wasn't fully prepared yet, and. Uh... Yeah, I mean that that's fully fair. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Also, Vdex, I noticed something peculiar about you. Yeah. What? You've betrayed yes. the oath. What? What has he done? I am. I. 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 I have. I have one has. Windows six thirty. Ah, please. I know just. I object to that. Boobun. <laughs> 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 So, Joshua, are they like sorted alphabetically by the name of the creator? Because I'm trying to yeah. think how they yeah. are in your, and that's probably the way they are. Yeah, they they are sorted by by a creator. Yeah, um, and then if it's the creator's name first, that means alphabetically. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, because I, it would be weird to to go back and forth all the time between bit creators. I think it's better if you if you have yeah. them all together. Um uh, also Armin is uh, raised. Yeah, I mean with, with, with his name that starts with A <laughs> has the a big advantage here. Yeah, no, you actually already see Armin stuff on stream. Yep. Mm. Yep. So okay. Anyway, we can move past. So, um Maybe a few quick uh, words about this project. Um, for those who don't know, uh, and because I will probably upload this on, on YouTube as well, uh, Atlantis is now in its second phase. Um, deadline is up, so you can no longer submit stuff. Today we canonize it. Um, more than 590 entries are in, and um, yeah. In the first part of the stream, we will go over all of them and um, we'll have a few words for some of them because we we just realized earlier if we have like one minute on every um, on every one of the entries, we would be here for for 10 hours, uh, you know, for six hours. Yeah. yeah so, you know, anyway. we uh, we won't do that. Um, but just to give you an idea what has all been submitted, I think it's only fair to at least look for a second at everything that has been uh, posted on um, DeviantArt, on Twitter, <coughs> and especially on um, on Discord. Uh, yeah, and we start here with a. Um, uh, the entry by Admiral Tiago, who did a turtle, uh, a, the gnome uh, cap turtle, a uh, very nice little creature. Then Angurus fan posted two things, one another turtle, um, the, the volcano turtle, uh, probably living up in the mountains. Um, I would say also a burrow, we have quite a few burrowing turtles this time, I can already tell you that much. Um, and his second entry is uh, a Pelagonathine, um, living in coastal areas, and from what I can see here, it's flightless. So we actually have two species here, one one big one and one smaller. Uh, but also flightless, still living close to the ocean uh, on the shorelines. So something maybe for one of the habitats we want to cover today, one is the shallow coastal waters and the other is beaches and uh, general coastal area. Uh, next one is by uh, Aquatic Flapper and it's our first um, 
Parrot. Parrots are new on Atlantis. And uh, we have quite a few um, entries with them. This is, I think, our only uh, purple one. And then we are already in Armin's territory with these grass-tailed quails, uh, which are beautifully um, camouflaged in, in the grasses of the newly developed uh, grasslands. Uh, then, of course, we have an uh, in crocodilian uh, Incusucus robustus um, for the wetlands of Atlantis and a terrestrial form, uh, the jackal alligator, um, that uh, is more at home on in the grasslands. Here also size comparison. Then, uh, oh wait, this is also by Armin. A bunch of invertebrates, spiders, moths, a wasp I see, a snail, lots of little critters. Yeah, I kind of forgot I made those. Yeah. <laughs> the giant tree spider is, is, damn, that's like nearly 30 centimeters in length. That's a chunk. That's a Goliath bird eater. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, the, and, the snail, and some this more. Is just the hunter one. <laughs> Some more creatures, another crocodilian here apparently going for, for some eggs. Um, greater river rat, 30 centimeter long, um, uh, 30 centimeter tall at the shoulder. Um, what is that actually? Mulster backlet. Ah, okay, I see. And another quail species with very fluffy feet. Very nice. Uh, next one is by uh, Aura Terror Bird, um, a big bird, uh, a giant rail that is at home in most areas of the island except for the deep forest in the center. Uh, also the second one, uh, uh, Canidapus, which looks like a canine, but is actually a Plesiadapi form, so it is a primate. <laughs> a primate that... <laughs> Evolved apparently more towards baboons, but took it to an extreme <laughs> in terms of how, how terrestrial and uh, quadrupedal they are. Um, then Batman did a wolf family of um, medium sized to large flightless birds with bony structures on their heads that have various forms. I think they are also rails. Uh think so. They look like it at least. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah, they're very very cool stuff here. Uh, uh, the the biggest one here looks like Arzino. Yeah, the previous one was yeah. real, wasn't it? <laughs> then, then, then yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, and then we have a bunch of entries by uh, Bear Rangel, uh, starting here with some um, uh, Pelagonic scenes, um, male and female morph. Um, here also in its environment, next to some other seabirds. Uh, then um, Baryonis, another Pelagonis scene, but flightless and uh, more like like a terror bird. Again, in its environment. Um, Tanis Bundelus, uh, a tropic bird that uh, is at home in Atlantis. Uh, and here in will colony of them nesting uh, on some cliffs. With a shark in the background. Very nice. Uh, Palestronax, um, Nasser, <laughs> uh, another Pelagonis scene. Um, I would say with all these pseudo teeth. Interestingly, they are all very um, uniform in this case. Uh, so a deviation from the usual uh, design. There, here is it's, you see it fishing on the shoreline. Uh, flightless. Um, parrot here, Insulobatis, uh, uh, living in the bushlands and open woodlands of Atlantis. Uh, Dendromustulus is uh, or also known as Pax tree weasel, um, tree climbing mustelid. Mustelids are also a, a new group of creatures that uh, arrived during the Miocene in Atlantis. And uh, we have quite a few entries for them as well. Another um, flightless parrot, the eagle parrot. Or is, it, is it actually flightless? 
do, do, do. I think they're actually still fly, uh, fl um, able to fly. Okay. Uh, next, uh, our fir first bat, um, because bats also are newcomers on Atlantis. Uh, Plato's stilt bat is, is a species of large flightless Vesper bat. Um, I can already tell you we will not have flightless bats. I'm sorry. But flightless bats are very, very unlikely, especially on islands that were already colonized by other animals. <laughs> And ones that are as big as hounds. Yeah, we have a few of these as well. Uh, uh, Volantomesma minor uh, is another uh, bat, but this one can still fly. So, very fluffy little one. Uh, Volantomesma major. Um, another one, the Atlantis giant Vesper bat. Here. Uh, and then a bunch of turtles. Uh, Insulo. Phytocheles, um for one here in their natural habitat, living on the coastline, apparently. Another one. And Phytocheles atlanticus, uh, Atlantis giant tortoise, um, also by Bear Rango. Then Pachycephalorallus, a rail with with a dome hat similar to a pachycephalosaur. We have a few of these, interestingly. Um, yeah, this is our the, I think the first that was submitted. Uh, Megalobarbus rex uh, is a rudest eating walrus. Very interesting uh, idea, and um, because rudus actually made it into into the the Miocene on on Atlantis, and um, yeah, um, pinnipeds like valruses also diversified during the Miocene a lot. So, uh, interesting idea to have such a specialist here. Foca venator carnifex, um, uh, Atlantis vor mongering seal. <laughs> um, another pinniped for for Atlantis. Um, and Nanofocus uh, pikidis, um, a small pinniped, small seal. Uh, then we have some more um, Plesiadapi forms, from the looks of it, um, for for the canopies, small, large-eyed creatures, uh, and our first um, Trunkosir. Trunkosir evolved during during the Paleocene, uh, during the last phase, and they are a group of pantodons with trunks, uh, or rather in the first face they had very short trunks and now we have them here with um in in various forms um some of them nearly as big as an elephant some uh just the size of an antelope uh yep this is one of our first submissions for that also we have serenians now on atlantis and here we have uh one that is called uh hilo dugong um atlantis common dugong uh, probably living in the shallows, um, not not that unusual so far. But then we have here Megalodugong, a uh, much bigger creature. By the way, Gnas actually went ahead and put together of different groups all the entries in size charts, so we have an overview of um, what has been produced and and what what size they these range um all color coded so we know what uh who created what and stuff like that very very helpful big shout out to Gnas here uh wandering swamp monkeys next um another uh, plesiada perform uh living on the shorelines and here we have a dugong too that apparently goes after the roots of mangrove trees Interesting idea. Uh, then um, Atlantis crested darter, um, carnivorous large darter that is op uh, home to open woodlands. Uh, then um, Atlantis beaked snooter, uh, which I think is a Tenrec relative. From the look of it, because we have some uh, the, the group that includes Tenrex 
and uh, some others now on Atlantis. Xenio uh, Dorinkus, uh, the best speak, um, uh, a flightless uh, Lysonitor form, um, so a Paleognath, um, Kuberinkus, uh, the Atlantis Oxpecker, um, one of the stem passerines that made it over from the Paleocene. Uh, on another turtle, a digging one. One of many we will see. <laughs> uh, but this is a uh, surviving uh, Nantium Hyalis, so uh, Hyalit, so it's uh, one of the groups that survived from the Cretaceous, actually. Uh, Dromia Varanus, um, Atlantis running monitor, a creature that is able to run on its hind limbs for at least some time. Uh, and Cephalosaurus, um large what is it it's a it's a lizard yeah okay up uh, nearly two meters long uh ecliptosaurin uh then we have some very late um submissions here that i unfortunately don't have a dis um, description but i think tarzodactylus here might be another place that form that grew into a kind of gorilla like niche uh, Pinotetra, another Plesiodapi form, I would say, and uh, Atlantocastor, which I guess is one of the hamsters, or, um, oh wait, no, judging by the premolars, they're probably, uh, probably multituberculate. And Ferrosaurus, which looks fabulous. <laughs> Very grumpy. Okay, next creator on our list is uh, Bonplant, who produced uh, Pachycephalornis, um, another one of these Pachycephalosaur-like rails, um, and uh, yeah, with with a very interesting helmet-like structure on on their heads that grows from their beaks over their head. Um, interesting idea. Uh, for sure. Then our first plants. Uh, we have quite a few plants this time, um, starting here with the moon fruit by Breaking Bad. And um, continue then with Rogers, who has two submissions, if I remember correctly. One is these crabs, the frog crabs, very colorful little crustaceans. And second, these um, uh, Atlantis snappers. Three groups, uh, three uh, three species of them, very colorful animals that we might be able to use for the shallow marine environments. Uh, then the uh, oh, I think I think I have a typo in the name of the creator here. Uh, Capermilgus, um, the a pennant winged uh, tropic bird. Um, it's an interesting um, display feather here on the wings, living on the coastlines. Um, then gastro, uh, not gastro gastropods, snails, um, marine snails. No, wait, no, not snails. Interesting, they, they live up in the volcanoes. Um, probably inspired by, by volcano snails, these deep sea um snails that uh have these these scales all over their foot interesting stuff the, uh, the toad mouse uh rubitavis rufos uh, a quite big one nearly a meter damn and the spotted mouse shark up to 1.5 meters long um and fresh water living so not one for the uh, shallow marine environment that we will tackle later oh apparently i i saved the snails twice the um cave knight dragon nets um i think we had one of the, its relatives already during the the paleocene and this is um a varanid um and group that has 
survived and uh, proliferated a lot on Atlantis. Um, here two different species, a, a cave uh, night dragonet and savannah night dragonet. Um, yeah. Then <coughs> the royal sea pleco and the clown sea plecos, two very interesting looking fish. Um, very fitting for Atlantis, I think, um, and for fish in general, because uh, the, the more weird you make a fish, the more likely it becomes. Uh, the comet squid and the bumble squid. I think this is our. I think we only have one or two submissions with with squid, really, which is interesting. Because you would think there there there, there would be a lot. Uh, on the other hand, um, from a meta uh, world building standpoint, um, fossils of squid are really rare because of the chemical. Um, certain chem chemical co uh, components in, in their bodies that makes them fall apart very quickly after this. So having next to no squid fossils might be uh, in in world explanation for the lack of of species here. And then maxed dusk jar and the ashy dusk jar, two animals, uh, two bird species from the mountains. Tiger elf shrimp, blue elf shrimp, and white elf shrimp. More crustaceans. By the way, we will have a lot of crustaceans in this one. <laughs> uh, white gulper paddlefish and the black gulper paddlefish. Um, with very nice patterns here, I have to say. Up to one meter long. Uh, the Atlantean giant trigger fish. This is nice because from the same time we have another actually very large trigger fish for which we have the teeth so far only from from the US and it would be similar in size to what you see here. Then um, Lepidopterans. We have a lot of moths and uh, butterflies this time. Another group that has arrived on Atlantis now and as you can see some of them have grown to quite a bit of size with nine centimeters wingspan here on the blue Atlantis moth. And next creator is Chiropteron. And as the name implies, he did uh, a bat, the volcano bat. Um, a little seven centimeter long um, creature um, with, with two, interestingly, with two um, clawed fingers on the hand. So only three wing fingers. Next is uh, Color Blindo with uh, Mantichora Sorax, uh, an insectivorous small mammal, um, again from the same family that uh, Tanrax belong to, uh, living up in the mountains and uh, uh, volcanoes. Then we have uh, again from Color Blindo uh, a giant salamander in this case it's it's an albinerpetontid so these guys uh, are usually in the fossil record very small but here we have uh, the opposite um it's like the size of a of a japanese giant salamander basically um and i love how derpy it looks it's it's um it's very penis shaped <laughs> <coughs> Uh, next one is um, yes. yes. Thank. Uh, carry on. It's okay. Okay. Uh, people tell me if there are technical problems. Carry on. Did Josh know? You know, we forgot the penis. Code. Okay. Mili, <laughs> uh, um, uh, striata. Um, another one. Um, of of these uh, real lizards in the in the past we only had uh, glyptosaurins and albinerpetontids basically filling these niches now we have real lizards from the mainland coming over and uh, trying to compete here as well um, this one is uh, at home mostly in the grasslands uh, and a tropic bird um, living on the coastlines and uh, apparently nesting on one of these little uh, 
or not, it's it's actually a quite large island, but compared to the rest of Atlantis, it's rather small. So uh, nesting on on one of these islands uh, off the coast of Atlantis. Um, the stiff, wait, nope. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Terio Lapis uh, Fuscus. Um, what is this actually? Oh, it's a mustelid. Okay. Uh, a very large, <coughs> nearly bear like mustelid living up in, in the uh, mountains of Atlantis. Uh, next creator is Constant Pain, with two creatures here. Um, a large uh, forest and swamp loving uh, lizard and uh, a psittaki form a psittaki, uh, yeah psittaki form with with an interesting shaped beak uh, that looks more like a passery uh, but as you can see very green and with these uh, parrot typical feet um then we have here a fairly large pinnipede um Leofere uh, Rylum, a um, little bit like like a leopard seal, um, and also like a fish, another crustacean, and a vigavet um, that has evolved to be very penguin-like. Then we have a Serenian, um, large one, uh, Subtoi uh, Toitia. How do you bleh? Beautiful names, <laughs> uh, and also um, a viper. It's also a new, uh, a new uh, family that that made it over, uh, and um, a crocodilian, and a bunch of uh, land animals for for the for the grasslands, mostly pantodons here, but also. Um, ground dwelling plesiadapi forms and interestingly a turtle with very long legs it nearly looks like it has grown hooves <laughs> um then crazy tag with some more of um his terror bird like uh, ducks um i like to call them danger ducks um <laughs> Uh, Velicoraptorids, uh, as usual here with skeletal drawings that also show here how much material is known. Very nice. Um, in in his case here, they have certainly become quite a bit larger and more um, more formidable. This is one of the smaller ones, which is more like like a small dromaeosaur, and also this medium-sized one. Um, with his extremely large foot claws. Also this one that looks more like a classic forest ruckus from from walking with beasts. Oh, I apparently apparently there were two versions. One with only skeletal drawing. Okay. Uh, uh, next is uh, Cryodracon with a lot of entries. Um, here starting off with um, a mustelid, uh, Atlantohydra, then uh, one of the most bizarre <laughs> um, creatures we, we got handed in, uh, a Valrus, um, Tetrado, no, Tirato Dubenos, um, with enlarged lower canines. Um, probably to open large clamps and stuff. Then the heavily armored turtle of uh, Arctotestudo. Lots of spines, lots of osteoderms. A big, really big crustaceans here. Buffina terrestris, living in mangrove swamps, apparently. Uh, and the, and oh, wait. Oh wait, yeah, no, it's still a uh, cry dragon. Uh, the mottled false moray, uh, which is not a moray but a paleophyt, uh, a group that also survived up into the Miocene, in this case. 
Then the Yellow Horned Reef Crusher, um, Pygmodontiform, another group that um, in real world only survived into the Eocene, but uh, we let it survive here a little bit longer. Then sharks. The ogre shark um, is a very large relative of the goblin shark, apparently, living all around the, the coastal waters of Atlantis. Um, the terrible bearded shark, which I absolutely think is fantastic idea with these enlarged denticles that give it this chat chin. Uh, then mm -hmm. we have several species of... Um, I think we had a, a sub-thread with called chainsawfish or something. So, so we have several of these saw skates uh, with unusual looking saws. Um, starting with the giant club snouted saw skate and the slender snout, uh, snouted saw skate. Um, very inter interesting creatures. Then Otodos Microdon, the dwarf mega toothed shark. <laughs> With only three meters, one of the smallest of its of its group. Uh, it become, belongs to the same genus as the famous Megalodon. Uh, then the glutton shark, um, very large creature again, and it looks like it's. Okay, yeah, it is a plankton feeder. Okay. Yeah, living on um, the east side of Atlantis. An interesting looking um, crustacean here, hidden sloth crab that is all overgrown with algae. Uh, and some more rays. Um, some of them with bizarre proportions, like the first one here, Fortis, uh, Fortismo. But is uh, more than two meters long and with this very very long tail. Oh, and there's a lot of text on this as well. Fals opossum. Um, I think this is a is it a mustelid? Oh no, it's a, a chemolestid. Ah, okay, chemolestids too, like a group that uh, is was very diverse during the early days of the reign of mammals and uh, yeah survived here on Atlantis. Then the fishing net spider, um, underwater fishing net spider that is apparently living in rivers surrounding the center of Atlantis. Uh, and then an extremely large varanid, uh, Tophonia uh, magna dracos, um, nearly living basically living everywhere apparently um it says here it's three to four meters long and 50 to 80 kilogram but that can't be because lengthwise this looks more like five meter and the weight of a komodo dragon is already several hundred kilograms so i i think this is probably more like <laughs> 400 kilogram or 500 by the looks of it it's just filled with air or is that it's i mean air. yeah it, it is well, that's why it's also in the too. shallow shallow waters here it's just um it's just so buoyant <laughs> <laughs> so and uh the howitzer crab beautiful name by the way um and the horned boar uh i think uh yeah, it's it's a pentadont, uh, semi-aquatic, so kind of like a hippo. Oh. Uh, here also with a nice little drawing of the skull, bizarre skull, I have to say. And you see here the rug rugosities, where the horns are growing on. So similar to to rhinos here. Then uh, Pitica dapis, um, a spiny. Plesia dapiform that kind of looks like a giant lemur, like like a Megalodapis, which I think this is a reference to. Um, and since Atlantis is similar in size to Madagascar, I uh, I have to approve. Um, yeah, usually living 
spine so it looks a bit up up in the in the uh, highlands yeah uh, then the art hound um which i think is a most oh no it's a hippophilid hippophilids are mesonychines um uh, so hoofed carnivores basically and on uh, Atlantis they have developed into this very uh, um, endemic family of the hippophilids um, uh, and we have probably like 50 entries or so <laughs> for them there is a big big diversity um, this one too is um, hippophilid by the looks of it uh, the brush-tailed dwarf uh, Ungalifelis Look at you, it's so cute. I very much appreciate also the, the, the skull drawings with each of these. Nicely done. Uh, Atlantean false wolverine. Another um, uh, hippophilid with a much more sturdy build. Um, and then the largest of of them uh, from Crydragon at least, the fanged Ungala Felid. Um Very large. Um, Mesonychian. 3.8 meters long. Damn. Um, then something that I only saw earlier on on DeviantArt uh, just included it. Uh, Cybercorn has three entries. Uh, this uh, Papiumimus, um, a multiple tuberculate that tries to be a primate. Uh, another one. Um, uh, which is, I think, a Plesiadapi form. And this little Mustelid, uh, Herbana Tator. Very orange. And uh, by the looks of it, um, going towards an otter like lifestyle. Then we have Carno Hippos by uh, Dan Bolvi Arts. Which is probably the most horse-like of all the um, hippophilids we have in in the entries. Uh, also, he has nearly the size of one. Um, also, by him is here is a burring quail, uh, excavornis, um, little creature like seventeen centimeters tall. So um, probably living yeah living in the in the lowlands the grasslands uh, then uh, next creator is Decarax with a lot of very interesting um, uh, submissions we have here starting with uh, Artemornis uh, which is um, another one of these false terror birds or danger ducks um, with these wing spurs that are like claws and these dromaeosaur like um, claws on the feet. Uh, now we have another Trunkles here, uh, Mazurankus, which is um, a specialist going apparently for termites and, and ants, breaking open their, uh, their mounds with their, um, their tusk like teeth and then slurping out um, all the insects uh, on the inside with their trunks. Um, Decorex was also the creator of, of the first Hippophilids, so of course he has some on of his own. Um, here, Ailurum mastix, um, a rather small animal, like not even going up to the knee of a of a grown person. Um, it's a very short face. Uh, oh, uh, this should uh, be nice for Rick. Uh, we have. Um, <laughs> Two species of coomers. <laughs> the quagmire coomer uh, and the seaman's coomer. <laughs> <laughs> um, a marine and, uh, and uh, uh, freshwater species. For sake. <laughs> <laughs> Very much like the, the pattern on the, on the freshwater one. <laughs> Beautiful. 
then Hephaestochelis, um, a large burrowing turtle that lives up in the mountains of Atlantis, um, tun building tunnel systems throughout the, the mountain flanks here. Um, very interesting. Quite a few people picked up on this and now we have a lot of submissions that basically show an underground ecosystem that formed around the tunnels of these these turtles. Um, we will see how many, how much we can include of this. Um, of course, we would also first need to implement Hephaestochelis because it's it's a keystone species for for the ad environment. Uh, but I'm not sure yet how how we can accomplish it. It might even need its own picture to really show. Um, another trunkus here, um, much bigger, yeah, much heavier build. Sorry. Hephaestochelis tunnels. I think. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just uh, saying for the, the mount and burrow of these turtles. You you are cutting out a little, at least for me. He's basically saying it would be cool to have like a, uh, yeah. a dedicated um, picture. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. That that's, that's that's what I mean too. Yeah. Oh wait. Uh. Ooh, th yeah, that's possible, Crohydracon, that I missed that one. Come tin. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Stork. No. Uh, another hip uh, hippophilate. Uh, this one much lo um, it with much longer legs. And these side toes has, have developed basically to dromiosaur-like claws that can be pulled back. Um doing running and then are uh, used when when prey has um, has to be killed. A very interesting idea here um, with this one. Um, Tragodactylus uh, is also mesonychid, but I think this one actually an herbivore. Yes, it is. Uh, okay, so this is secondarily um, evolved in, into um, herbivore living in um, the coastal areas of Atlantis uh, and the forest. Another trunkus here is uh, Scrophadon, um, which is kind of like a like 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 a pig that, with its nose and tusk, goes through the leaf litter looking for all sorts of little animals and roots and fruits to to eat on. Uh, then. Temnodus uh, caramensis, uh, a multituberculate with very interesting molars that are basically um, like the tooth whirl of a helicoprion. Uh, and it's. Uh, I'm not sure, is it? Is it? Yeah, it's a, a specialist for mollusks, snails, um, and other shelled. Uh, creatures that it can open with its specialized teeth. Then ha we have uh, Protospectra knippi, um, another hippophilate. W to, to explain the reference behind it, we don't have time, but I appreciate it very much, Decarex. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tony Sosarium is our next truncus here with extremely weird dentition um, on top of the horns and general weird weird build that it has. Um, the frontal incisors are not really tusks but instead form something that is kind of beak-like. Um, still don't know what to think about this but it's it's it looks pretty cool. Then the bush drake, um, another uh, varanid, uh, but in this case with with big scales on the tail and and head, giving it kind of like a club. Uh, oh, and uh, then this extremely weird plesiodapiform um, that lives in caves and is basically blind and relies on echolocation and its long whiskers and 
and toes to find its way around. Very, very specialized. Um, certainly a fascinating idea. Um, not sure if it might be a little bit too specialized, so, but we will see. Um, then uh, Hylolestis. Uh, oh, it's also a hippophilate. Okay, an arboreal hippophilate that um, yeah, probably by the looks of the teeth also is more like uh, an omnivore probably. Yeah. Okay, next creator is Delta Venator here with uh, Slither Stalks. Um, uh, a group of um, of plants. Very interesting. I see with 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 fruits, and here's a form that is apparently climbing. Very nice. Um, also by Delta Venator are these uh, gladiatornis um, birds of the of the grasslands that uh, have these little arenas in which they fight for the for the right to mate um, which is interesting because these arenas then also become spots for other animals to uh, sunbath in or or do dust bath and uh, dust bathing and, and stuff like that um, it's a very nice thought uh, that went into this uh, the then by Demo Golden comes um, another plant, the Atlantean Sunset Grape Tree, uh, a climbing plant that uh, has very large fruiting bodies, interestingly. Uh, also by Demo Golden is this enormous shark, Charibodus, uh, up to nine meters in length, uh, descendant of Nasolumna, which is um, a shark that we had during uh, the Paleocene. Uh, now the entries by Dino Dan, um, starting here with an interesting mushroom. We have only a few mushrooms, unfortunately, but what we have is is quite interesting, like um, uh, the Caldera mushroom, um, which has uh, this this cup-like fruiting body from which uh, widow's fungus moth drink um, a way of of the mushroom to spread its spores uh, then we have the mole snail um, which is predominantly living subterran so it's it's another animal that we can wonderfully put into the um, Hephaestus hairless burrows and tarns uh, and then the excavator lizard here uh, which is a true lizard with some very mole like looking uh, frontal appendages. Um, interesting um, idea. Um, Dino then also did this large collection of uh, Atlantis butterflies with lots of different forms here and lots of beautiful patterns I have to say. I hope we can put as many as possible into these images. Um, I think some of these are also quite large uh, but yeah. Uh, also the nightshade turtle, very gnarly looking, uh, rather small turtle, like 15 centimeters long or something. Uh, and then um, these guys here, the Rufus ground parrot and the coastal, um, the, the coastal micropalm and um, the linnated pygmy uh, sea lion. Um, the sea lion is indeed razor small, like oh, mm -hmm. a little over a meter in length, I think. Um, but the, the parrot here is enormous. Um, but it retains the same proportions as, as a normal parrot, so I don't know what to think about this. <laughs> Because we, we, we actually scaled this next to a human and it it looks so weird. <laughs> uh, but I also like the I, I like the, the micro palm here. Uh, or palm. That's a good one. Uh, by then then also here some small critters for the undergrowth. 
um, like this giant giant beetle that is nearly the same size as this uh, tenrec relative here, um, or this uh, Enigma millipede. Interesting name. Um, also by a bunch of freshwater uh, critters here, the slipstream snake. Cool name. Um, I I very much like this um, this turtle, the lily pet turtle. Um, and yeah, the the two two species of fish here to for for the river systems. Uh, then some marine stuff with a bunch of rays and. Um, Oh wait, no, there is even a uh, cuttlefish down here. Nice. Didn't so see that the first time around. Uh, yeah, a bunch of animals that would fit into the reefs um, and shallow marine environments. Uh, then back into the forest we have the plated tiger lizard and the jeweled tree hen. Um, here also with some egg to, uh, for, to see how, how they look. Um, I very much like the patterns here. Um, going on to our next creator, Doomite, um, produce uh, crab apple moss, which is a Lepidopteran, although I first thought it would be um, a beetle by the shape of the wings, but nope, this is a very derived, um, quite interesting looking Lepidopteran. Uh, then also he made a bunch of interesting looking turtles, uh, like the Plateau Terrasque. Um, inspired by by the French turtle-like dragon, um, here with with these spiny, weird-looking protrusions on on the shell. Um, he also made. Oh, I already forgot about this because these were were posted razor early on the puff lizards, a wolf family of of them, um, ranging from like twenty centimeters to. Oh, nearly a meter in length, I think. Um, quite interesting looking, often horned creatures. Um, he also made the scallop crabs, wool family of these interesting looking, uh, sometimes bizarre formed um, crustaceans with very complex shell structures. And uh, I think this one. Oh, is that is that a reference to that that evil-looking moon thingy? I don't even know where this comes from. But the crescent moon crab looks like something I have seen before. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, then the dungeon terrasque, um, even bigger turtle here. I v I very much like the the frontal view of the shell here that he provides. Very heavy looking creature. Uh, and then the uh, Mohawk Tarask, um with its funny looking spines. That that's that's a I, I think this is one the one where I appreciate the design the most. Looks um very believable. Uh, then uh, Dr. Mashika did the whip snake, um two to uh, three to four meter long oceanic snake, so uh uh, another uh, paleophyte. And um, now it begins. Yay, oh let's, let's check the time. It's a I literally started the started a game of League. I'm wondering which is going to finish first. This <laughs> or that. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah, uh, we we are not even in. halfway through, so... and and w now comes Dynamo Terror. With... Yeah, let's go speedrun time. He has, he has more than 100 entries. So we will be quick. Christ. Yeah, yeah. I I think like hundred fifteen or something, um, or hundred twelve. I'm I'm not sure right now. Uh, yeah. Um, plant hoppers. Um, grasses. Uh, more plants. Uh, for 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 the alpine regions. Uh, a bush for the bushlands. Uh, more grasses for for the salt tolerant um um, uh, esterines. Um, we have uh, mesonychines here. We have a truncosier that looks kind of similar to dinosaurium, but with interesting bristles on its on the inside of its uh, trunk. We have small birds, uh, more 
trees, we have more grasses. I think Dynamitar is one of the few people who actually thought about the grasses for this uh, environment, which it's it's a whole new habitat. Um, yeah, quite quite interesting. Um, uh, do, 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 do. What what is this? Um, oh, it's one of the variogenesid um, birds. It's it's uh, from the stem passerines. Uh, another bush. Um, I think for yeah for the open woodlands and grasslands. Micro cannabis, <laughs> small herbaceous plant um, for the subtropical forests. More leaf hoppers, more leaf hoppers. Um, burrowing bucks, a uh, very interesting design. Um, <laughs> Nematopods, <laughs> parasites. <laughs> we will probably never see them. But they are also very small, like five millimeters at most. Uh, some fungi for the for the forests. Um, more nematopods. <laughs> cockroaches. <laughs> more cockroaches. <laughs> um, uh, a, a grape with spiny leaves. Um, earthworms. That's uh, very nice. Um, some of them. Looking at the the size bar here. That's that's some big earthworms. Um, oh, I accidentally saved one of Armin's pieces as as Dynamitera. Um, uh, Pseudogiomis, uh, the Atlantean gopher, um, probably one of of the hamsters. Uh, little flowers, um, ants, a bunch of ants. Um, more uh, Arbenerpetontins, uh, the dwarf sparklers extremely small like the, the biggest here is two centimeters long i don't even know how i want to include this uh, the little marsh hamsters very cute little creatures more hamsters um giga cultron which is oh it's it's a tenrec relative but but instead of going for the um uh going for insects this is an hyper carnivore um more albinopetontids, a lot. Uh, silver side bear, which is um, a large mustelid. Uh, something that looks like. Uh, oh, it's a multi tuberculite, okay. From the wetlands and subtropical forests, um, but it's more like a mole or desman. Um, a hippophilid, yeah, a hippo lambda. Oh, wait, no, it's a pantodont. <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, as type of bee, I would no, no, it's not a bee, but it looks. Oh, it's it's a it's a fly. Oh God. Um. What? It's a flightless a flightless fly. Oh God. Yeah, true. We had flightless fly last time. Um. I yeah, yeah. Walk. Yep. Um. Another one, flightless uh fly. Uh, more ants. Um uh do, 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 which are these small 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 arboreal mammals. Uh a carp, um uh, a snail. Lots of little snails, like one centimeter long. God damn, how 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 even? Um then small herbivorous pantodons. Very interesting idea. Um large tree, a platano species. I think we have several platano species in here. Um, another squid, Atlantis reef squid. Um, micro rhinosaurs, um, I think it's, oh yeah, it's a heristodeer uh, with a spiny tail. Um, then uh, pipe cleaner trees, several species of them. Uh, Gigantavis, large flightless anseriforms. Um, three species of them. A skew Skiru, skiru, uh, carpodapis, squirrel-like, uh, carpolestids. Um, we have this hawkfish relative. Very cool. Um, micro, uh, ratoides, uh, which is, um, a whip-tailed scorpion from the same, uh, spe uh, family that, that Grace created. Um, we have, uh, more thesaurial, um, Oi social crickets that he came up with already during during the Paleocene, but now they have developed further with more 
uh, casts, uh, more and more defined caste system and everything. We have bats, of course we have bats, uh, and moths, and and uh, weird weird looking plesiodapiform with a with a colorful nose that could be a troll. Uh, we have a small platana species for for the alpine regions. Um, another another crocodontine rodent. Um, more plant hoppers. <laughs> Um, for sorrel multitubeculates, uh, then heris uh, another heristodeer with a little sail on its back, uh, more passerines, another passerine, uh, this is uh, a tomistoma-like um, heristodeer, uh, eocolubor, um, which is like a large terrestrial colubrid, um, then b -b -b another pantodont, um, more sh uh, snakes, uh, colubrid sna snakes, uh, semi-aquatic albinerpetontid. Uh, these are fish. I don't know how they are usually called, but they are fish. Um, then lacertids. We have three species of these lacertids. Um, more roaches. And more bees, stingless bees, uh, then a bunch of beetles of various patterns. Um, b -b -b crickets, uh, another fish for the reefs. Um, big gulper, uh, what is this? Uh, fully aquatic, oh, fully aquatic neotenic dragonfly. Oh, I had no idea. There's so many of these. Um, uh, Acetiper, this is also another passerine that. Uh, has evolved to to look like a bird of prey. Uh, another plesiodapi form that um, has similarities to to baboons. Uh, I think this might be a marsh to walking, uh, not walking species, to do uh, the here yeah, um, the future is wild. Looking looking at these patterns here, might be. I'm not sure. Um, uh, another tree, uh, a shrimp, beautiful looking shrimp. Um, then uh, lysonocenes um, of, of various uh, species here, um, very colorful parrots, especially like the second one, um, a paddlefish that has evolved um, denticles, or no, probably not denticles because it's a paddlefish, but um, it's, it has a club-like rostrum with um, with bony plates on the sides, similar to what sturgeons have, I think. Um, another fly. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And these should be ants. Um, more uh, rostrum, uh, uh, paddlefishes without a rostrum, two species. More bushes, more flies. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Insectivorous, multi-tuberculate. Another nocturnal, but ca uh, carnivorous multi tuberculate more passerines more shrimp two species um a bunch of um small freshwater fish um a very interesting looking spider i think this might be um i think this is a relative of uh, a species that miguel created for phase one uh pillbox i suppose of course uh, then we have uh, taxi taxidus uh, saurus, uh, a gryptosaurian, very very gnarly looking one. Uh, we have uh, another tree or or, or big bush, um, uh, Caliduavis uh, from the open woodlands, which is another uh, virog uh, variognacid, so so another stem passerine relative, uh, and we have uh, mega cannabis. Oh. Mega cannabis uh, <laughs> squamafolia, which is unfortunately not psychoactive. But if we bring this back, we will make it psychoactive. This will be the <laughs> biggest natural blunt you will ever smoke. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Yes. Win. Yeah. Then, then uh, blood to termites. So finally, we have some uh, some more termites. Uh, Eo pardosa, um, a wolf spider relative. Um, 
he succeeds uh, freshwater encho uh, oh it's an encholus uh, relative oh nice uh, another encholus relative your um, larger one with looks like it's oh it's it's on its way to uh, develop flight oh my god um another of the dinosaur like um trunkosiers uh dino lambda with with these bristles on the inside of the trunk uh, a creeper um or, or climbing like vine from the grasslands and bushlands with with interesting looking fruit uh araneos uh, uh orb weaver um we have a herbivorous lamprey endemic to the uplands um that primarily grazes on algae that grow on on the on the rocks and sunken logs in in the river streams uh, in the in the mountain streams uh hygiaia um this is a long stemmed bush endemic uh, in grasslands and and bushlands uh arborea gecoides um an, an arboreal albinerpeton that uh, looks really more like a gecko than anything else at this point another whip-tailed uh, scorpion <laughs> um, a semi-arboreal species that uh, we like to call um, uh, uh, monkey spiders instead of uh, spider monkeys um, then uh, of course bivalves bivalves a lot um, another bivalve uh, and uh, ubobodon one of the latest uh, inclusions um, uh, a razor small um oh no no i i never know what to do with a foot um please use metric please a large semi-arboreal glyptosaur 30 centimeters yeah or like yeah. 31 centimeters okay okay we dynamo Sarah, Terra. are we done we we have everything in dynamo Terra. one six we, the we are... evil is defeated. Yeah, yeah. It's we are one half right through this. Half through. We are halfway through now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Uh, Faloti, uh, uh, Faloti Kobalin, um, uh, um, uh, handed uh, in this enormous uh, um, honey bear <laughs> bed. <laughs> Um, there, there's also this enormous bat, um, the flying wolf, um, that is uh, apparently more carnivorous, still f able to fly. Uh, then I think this is a giant, ha yeah, it's a hippo hamster. I like the idea, I have to say. Hippo hamster sounds cool. Um, <laughs> and uh, the Atlantean stilt necked tortoise, uh, a, tor a turtle of nearly sauropod size. Um, that is similar to um, Cylindraspis from from um, uh, the, uh, the Indian Ocean that we have there. Also, um, by him are these giant um, um, parrots. Um, oh wait, I saved the turtle twice. Oh, damn. Okay, uh, then going. To Fancy. Uh, Fancy has also quite a few entries, uh, starting here with the rail, the Cranky Atlantean Coot, or Cranky Coot, uh, how it's called here. I, I have to say I, I admire this uh, scale bar person. Very nice. It's it's like pointing out uh, down and it's like, ha ha, you're so small. Uh, then a, a tropic bird uh, that apparently um, nests <laughs> in... Stupid bird. Stupid bird. Oh my god. <laughs> it's spitting at the scale bar person. Um, <laughs> nice. And and it's um, uh, apparently nesting in in uh, um, uh, in your burrows on, on cliff sides. Uh, then uh, an interesting looking parrot. The long tongued false kia. Um, with a very long beak and a very long tongue. Um, interesting creature. The straw-chested rail um, with with its um, eye spot-like uh, patterns on, on, the, on the wings. Um, the greater blue-billed uh, 
partridge and the Atlantean puff chested partridge. Um, again, this point. <laughs> Uh, probably best to distinguish by by the color of their beaks by the looks of it um, Then the three feathered burrowing quail another burrowing quail I think we had one be I think we have like three or four different species of burrowing quails um, Again something that could be included <coughs> in the um, uh, Hephaestochialis um, environment <laughs> Uh, then the screaming magpie goose, um, a rather large goose um, uh, with with an interesting pattern here. Um, I, I quite like it. Uh, living in the uh, in the in the um, wetlands of of Atlantis. Then the bushland crow shrike and the hooked crow shrike, uh, two raven-sized um, pseudo uh, crows. Uh, the a ballerina swan. Very interesting. Is it? A, oh yeah, it also belongs to the genus Cygnus. So, huh. and yes, it's mostly white, so nobody can complain. Uh, Bushland mount fowl uh, fowl um, is, I think, is it? Oh yeah, it's a, a lysonothene, um that apparently is similar to um, megapods has has big um, uh, nest mounts uh, then Joshua's uh, Atlantean pintail um, uh, a duck uh, that uh, nests on the coast as well as in wetlands uh, of Atlantis uh, I quite like the, um, the tail feathers here and and uh, the, in general the the pattern uh, interesting here also there uh, you you have here a, a male in non-breeding colors um, that's something that uh, Anseriform sometimes do uh, and now we go to Fang whose first yeah, entry me. indeed uh, whose first entrance uh, was uh, a very large moths um, he even with all its uh, life cycle you see here egg first insta larvas the caterpillars and the, the pupa um beautiful pattern i have to say uh also quite large if i remember correctly uh, uh i don't think it's too large can't remember it's a uh hmm. also two more species of the whiptail scorpions the banded whiptail scorpion and the um the hairy armed uh whiptail scorpion Ah, ah, here we have actually a uh, size um, chart. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, I mean, for for what you usually see in terms of moths, this is pre pretty large, but but not crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here's some okay. some some more text. Uh, then the ghost winged bat. Um, uh, is it is it marine or or going after freshwater fish? It's a uh, it's a uh, fish. Uh... Coastal and freshwater. Okay. Um, then the golden... Um, a golden fleeced bat. Oh, I see the, the reference you made there. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, then large um, flightless birds. Uh, are these rails? Uh, they're, they're descendants of the Velocicraptor. Ah, Veloc uh, yeah. Velociraptor. Uh, yeah, yeah. And they're basically Stymphalian birds. Oh, oh I not remember. these ones. These ones are. I remember. Yeah. These ones are the. The these ones are based on the one that Raoul made, the forest darter. Oh, there's a forest darter. Yeah, I see the, with, yeah. with the crest and everything. And you yeah. have little uh, quails with them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Feng also introduced basically a plant that could be its own habitat. Um, uh, this, what was its name? It doesn't say in the file. Um, uh, but the ancestor of this plant was um, introduced by by Levi, uh, and they instead of being cups now they are basically little artificial ponds or well, not artificial ponds but but uh, organic ponds. Uh, it's uh, its name. It's uh, Philovasum. Okay, 
yeah, with with its own endemic fauna like these triop species that uh, live up there in the mountains. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and we have uh, some um, arbanopterontids, four species yes. of various colors and uh, patterns here. Um, Yeah, I think they they were this this family was introduced by by Raoul, I think, and uh, you. Uh, two of them, yes. Yeah. The ones on the left. The other two are based on, I think one is Miguel's and the other one is the one that was in the caves. In oh, the first I stage. remember. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Feng also introduced here a uh, um, semi-aquatic pantodont, I think is it. A trunkothere. Tr a trunkothere. So, yeah, yeah. So it is a pantodont. Um, as well as uh, two species of very streamlined um, pugnodontiform and um, a new One, species. One, they're just super, uh, oh, it's, super it's... sexual dimorphic. Ah, I see, I see. Uh, as well as here a new species of nodulus or nodiloid. Um, then we have again Armin's um, land croc together with some, some more birds, uh, these uh, false raptors, so the, the danger ducks. Yes. Uh, and here again the danger ducks in action um, going after meat as well as uh, fruits by the looks of it or is it just coincidence mm -hmm. that they are there? No, no, they're going after the, okay. the fruits. It's okay. it's three species of Stymphalians. Uh Then we have up in the mountains um, a large bird of prey uh, as well as... are these hippophilids or... no, wait, mustelids. the paws, mustelids, okay wolf like mustelids and and uh let me guess hamsters yes the hamsters fluffy hamsters oh, oh wait yeah, yeah i i saved the uh the image with a uh, um descriptions as well uh then one entry by gabriel the um by triple Ceras, uh, the spiny purple nautilus um beautiful little creature very compact I, I like it. Uh, oh, and now comes Gaps with the broad built Himbus or the just Himp, um, a uh, descendant of uh, the common Himbus from uh, the Paleocene. Uh, again, it's a filter fear, uh, but uh, more specialized this time. Uh, he also made a scavenging uh, parrot. We have quite a few scavenging parrots, I think. Um, then yep. the grassland <coughs> trunk bock, um, a trunkle seer that is more like an antelope or a little bit like a saiga with but with its uh, tusks going sideways, probably for interspecific combat by the looks of it. Uh, then a bunch of tropic birds, ranging from the pygmy uh, for, uh, tropic bird to the diving tropic bird, um, that apparently is. Fly, uh, um, flightless and instead uh, is mostly um, uh, going around uh, by, by, by propelling with its feet. Uh, then the Traptor Glyptobronia, um, a small little creature that goes after um, ants and other animals um, and to uh, not be overrun by by uh, by its prey. It can lower its head and uh, basically act like like a door um, when it is in in tough situations to to block the passage. Uh, very interesting little creature. Uh, I'm I think it's a, a glyptosaur by the name. I would say, although the body also looks like a, a it could be. Um, Albinerpetontid, but yeah. Uh, then jewels, uh, jewels of uh, Dionysius, uh, another plant, uh, and Atlantean blind crab, a uh, very spindly looking creature. Ooh, and and then this wolf family of of fish, uh, Atlanto cupridae. Um, yeah, what 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 can I even say? There's so many of them. 
with, with which really shows it's uh, some doing something like this is a really good um, exercise for creativity. I have to say, have have an animal of very uh, ha basically have a prototype, and then do more and more and more iterations of it with different patterns and and slightly different body forms and so on. That can really help come up with with cool ideas. Uh, also, by Gaps is a greater Vesper bat, um, like like half a meter wingspan has this guy, uh, cute little boy. Uh, then the upland chisel beak, your mother with with babies. Uh, oh wait, no. Du, 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 du. Oh, I think it's only the the small ones. Or is it because only the small ones are there on the on the size chart? It's um, a very derived Vigavit, interestingly. Uh, then the rainbow um, Stalga, uh, uh, a Platanus uh, relative, um, with with very colorful bark, probably inspired by the rainbow uh, eucalyptus. Um, then we have uh, entries by G Dog from Deviant Art. Uh, starting with Struciolophus, um, by the looks of it, a um, large anseriform. Oh yeah, Presbyornithine. Um, that is flightless and common in the grasslands and coastal plains. Then uh, Loxodonta hellas, um, uh, a large turtle with tusk-like protrusions on uh, the back of the upper jaw. Uh, Cycnognathus, um, a, a flightless pelagonithine. Um, uh, Bufomimus, very interesting um, glyptosaurin that looks kind of frog like with a very short, in this image not even noticeable, tail um, and short but very powerful limbs. Um, then entries by Ghost, uh, starting with a painted tree monitor. Uh, a varanid that lives in uh, the hills and um, and and forests of Atlantis, uh, and then oh, Ghost had only one um, entry. Uh, Gigabai um, posted this uh, sea urchin, um, a large flat one with nearly devoid of of um, of spines. Uh, oh, now comes Gnas. Gnas again with a lot of entries, as it was also the case last time. Uh, so we have a uh, Chimolestine. Uh, we have um, another Chimolestine. <laughs> we have so many of these. Um, and more. Oh, this is a, uh, uh, another Pantolanta relative, a very robust one. Um, you really pick one, uh, Pantolantidae, uh, uh, Dorcalanta. Um, oh, he made an, uh, a bunch of these. I think it's a, it's a wolf family. Um, yeah, co uh, Corona uh, Lantinae. Um, um, that look like these uh, pronghorn relatives uh, we had. In, in the past in North America and and also some some giraffes uh, they have interesting nasal horns um, and other protrusions um, yeah or also on the back of the head there uh, where the sagittal crest has grown into a horn um, quite interesting creatures uh, chumpsops this is a uh, shrew like Gnas really likes his his chemolestines. That's the one, uh, Paralopex, Pyrolestis, a uh, creature that looks more like a mole, but it's also cumulested. <laughs> Fossorial one. I feel like this guy. Coriolestis 
looks very similar to an entry that Gnas already had last time. I feel like he this this is a is a prank and he just put something from last time already uh, that already went in again in there. Oh wait, he actually says here little derived from its Paleocene ancestor. Okay, so it is very close to to what something that he already handed. <laughs> Okay, now to Godzilla fan with um, uh, this uh, very long unserif form, interestingly. It's uh, uh, again a uh, relative of uh, Velicroraptor, so um, one of these, uh, one of the danger ducks. Uh, then uh, Gonza uh, Lacta made this entry here with uh, three different bird species, um, parrot, uh, a quail and um, uh, uh, what is it? Oh, the, he calls it Stymphalian albatross. Uh, it's a pelagonocene um, and again a um, reference to Greek mythology. That's interesting. Mm. Oh, this this is uh, I had probably yeah. This is we already had this earlier. I just put it here wrongly. Uh, then by Grace we have um, Paraira uh, Para Iratus vulgaris, um, the common whip tail, um, which is a further evolution of of her um, whip tails. Um, of which he has two here, the common whip tail, and this is uh, Archer Eratus, um, beautifully patterned creature that is mostly arboreal and is interestingly omnivorous. Um, it's not just going for for prey, uh, but also sometimes for fruit and and uh, squishy leaves. Uh, then the ribbon quail. Um, another one of these quails with interesting hind feathers here uh, could be easily a relative of um, of Armin's quail. Um, and <laughs> okay, this one was by Graustreif, and this next um, entry is by Hedo, and it's just called the Agony Crab. <laughs> Looking at the anatomy, I can see why. <laughs> It, it is very spiny and very nasty looking spines at that. Yeah. Uh, then by Hellfish, we have the humpback chatter, um, a quite large freshwater fish that patrols uh, the rivers and lakes of Atlantis. Uh, and there's interestingly also um, a variety of this one that lives in caves, much smaller. Uh, the eyeless chatter. Uh, so this is, this is something typical we, we often see in nature where we have a uh, fish species or, or insect species that lives outside the caves and is pigmented and oftentimes larger um, and then uh, a white or pink variety that lives within the cave systems um, and is um, blind or next to blind. Um, that happens apparently very quickly in, in nature. Uh, so the next entries are all rays or um, uh, source gates by Hidetoshi on uh, Twitter. Um, a bunch of these were made. Very, very interesting ones are here. Uh, like uh, this uh, Sarah Pristis. Um, also know it's uh, the, the crewmate for, uh, for size comparison. Very important. Uh, followed by uh, uh, Sarah Pristis. Flav was a smaller species with, with a more elaborate pattern and uh, very yellow. Uh, then this, I, I, I love this, it's, it's so cute. Um, uh, still, still, uh, 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 Otiosa, um, it's, it's a very minimalistic ray. And because it's, it's tailless, and, and kind of like squished together, it has a little butt. 
although it's not a butt <laughs> and, and and it has uh, uh, the, the front of the, the animal can lift up um, and the jaws then open to suck in prey um, like like a little like like lifting a carpet and a uh, monster comes out it's um, a Roomba it's it's a Roomba yes true that's a good comparison it's 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 uh, a Roomba with a butt uh, then Pelagopristus uh, Natator um, again very interesting um, pattern creature and uh, a Discoraya um, I think this is related to um, Carnoferox Discoray uh, then uh, Nasuraya which is a uh, Ganoray uh, with very short tail but instead with a very long nose that it can use like like a trunk to feel around a proboscis like rostrum like they call it here uh, then uh, fluviraya um, fresh water relative um, guess where these colors came from oh i see what they did ah, okay okay <laughs> uh, next entry is by whom or hong uh, and it's a long beard goose, a very, very big goose um, living in the wetlands of. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Everywhere but the wetlands of Atlantis, basically. <laughs> From uh, the bushlands and grasslands up into the mountains. Hong also um, submitted this ray, which is. With which is extremely weird, but I love it. It's it's um, a relative of the UFO uh, UFO ray, um, just much wider. Um, also by him is um, Temnomartis Major, um, a big mustelid. Oh yeah, also down here is a leopard hamster. A razor large hamster. That is apparently the prey of these guys. <clears throat> oh god, I will soon need something to drink. Uh, the broom beer is a plesiodapi form um, with lots of spines all over its body. We uh, had this during um, during the Paleocene, and uh, hopeful hominin here took it a step further, made it quite a bit larger and uh, more robust. He also uh, submitted the common saber shell, um, which is uh, kind of like an alligator snapping turtle, um, but more spiny, and and with tusks, which is always a plus. Then James submitted a few animals. Among them is the greater crawlouse. Uh, it's a giant freshwater isopod. Ooh. Lots of spines and spiny appendages. Uh, also, the spider mender, an albinorpetontid, with um, uh, it appe appears an um, prehensile tail. Uh, and the volcano fly, um, an extremophilic firefly. Um, that reminds me, we probably need a night scene at some point. <laughs> um, <laughs> An animal that lays its eggs in volcanic soil. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's present around the volcanic events and uh, uh, hot springs and so on of, of um, <coughs> Atlantis. Um, oh yeah, and the pl uh, plunder bird, um, a small pelagonocene that appears to go after um, eggs. Among other things, also we just had the new uh, follower, the Grumpy Gus. Welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. Okay, next one is oh, oh well, yeah, that's by me, Anomaloratus. Uh, it's um, creature I I made quickly uh, as an example of how to do these entries, as as an example. Uh, going on. Um, least sane Jurassic World Dominion disliker uh, posted this uh, Alomelo 
Goritis, um, which is um, also known as the Atlantean Painted Quail. Um, very, very um, dirty looking bird. Mm. Um, then by Levi, we have uh, para, para uh, lipo uh, uh, thila, um animal that uh, lives along every watercourse and uh, the um, the coastal waters of Atlantis and has these two nesting sites here. Uh, he also submitted the Atlantean fish crab, which lives in the root systems of a specific tree, specific mangrove, uh, where they um, have these naturally occurring uh, burrows in which they um, hide and go after small uh, prey that swims by. Uh, also, Actolamta, uh, another uh, Trancosir. Um, which is more like like uh, overgrown boar uh, with large tusks and uh, shaggy fur. Um, oh yeah, and a mustelid, um, Scopictis graucus, um, probably one of the smallest mustelids we got <laughs> so I think far. It was genuinely small. Yeah, yeah, but compared it to yeah, modern it's living mustelids, it's like damn, that's a big one. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, and the a giant swamp tree. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the tree of Dionysus. Uh, oh yeah, that tree was hell. <laughs> yeah, lots, lots of branches. Um, also, it was uh, nice here to see the fruiting bodies. Oh, and is there a human on one of the trees as uh, for size uh, comparison? I think yeah. Is there? Oh, there is. Little, yeah, little see, it's the corner. Yeah. yeah. It's a that's a big tree. Yep. Um, the orphan mm -hmm. parrot, also by Levi here, um, little brown parrot living up in the mountains. Uh, next entry is by Logan. Two beautiful spiders that at first I didn't see because I thought it was about the, uh, the plants here. But um, yeah, these <coughs> are two spiders that... Uh, um, are camouflaging as parts or as the flowers themselves of um, these plants. Um, also here the cathedral moth is something uh, that he made for, for this entry, so very interesting. Um, also by Logan is the oyster parrot that in the uh, literal zone goes after um, yeah, well, oysters and other shelled organisms. Uh, and the Rufer, Rufus River Gull, uh, not a gull, but instead um, a, a diving and swimming um, a pelagonicine that uh, lives in the rivers of Atlantis. Then by Mr. Blue Shark we have another scavenging uh, parrot, the bone-eating parrot, uh, with a naked head, um, living nearly everywhere on the island. And... Um, yeah, as you can see, it likes bones. Then we have uh, the Atlantean Doubter, uh, Pachyramus terrestris um, dragonfly by Mr. Blue Shark again. Uh, also by him are um, uh, these fishes uh, for the marine setting, uh, the skull crusher fish with its uh, um, pygnodontiform, uh, the volcano shad, uh, oh, that's actually uh, okay. And that's that's a freshwater fish, uh, as well as a hawk trout. Um, no, that's a tree-colored hawk trout. That's uh, it wolf from the hawk trout that we have seen in the Paleocene. Uh, then Mr. Stork has some extremely derived um, herbivorous lizards here. Um, I think these are, yeah, these are uh, Varanids with very colorful headgear and um, they, they walk more like uh, certain um, early, early Pseudosuchians during the Triassic. Um, yeah, oh, here is it unshaded. And here is, wait, what, what's the difference? 
Oh, I think this is a female. Okay. Also unshaded. Bloop, 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 bloop. Um, he also made the Atlantean beaked paddlefish. Um, strange looking creature with a with the usual rostrum of a paddlefish, but also a beak-like protrusion on the lower jaw. Then uh, Mr. Teratornis uh, introduced the Atlantean speckled weasel, a mustelid, um, quite large one. Uh, oh, and here's a juvenile, very cute, with white fur and, and black, um, black stripes or, or spots. Um, then Nick Shira um, submitted the tree tutsel worm. Um, an apparently rather obscure creature, um, uh, a mustelid, from what I would say, looking at it, um, with large claws, uh, living arboreal and uh, camouflaging as uh, leaf litter or, or branches, um, by the looks of it. Ah, we have a... Uh, ah, ha, ha, see. Um, interesting. So they, they hold on to... Um, branches with a long tail and then hang down to strike from above with reduced hind limbs interesting uh, then the false water rail um, which is a derised mouse bird um, posted by NRD um, the mouse birds today are usually arboreal with the small critters um, very rather uniform in how they look, although we have quite a few species. Uh, and this animal here in, in its isolation evolved into a very different niche. Uh, then Ogre Lord mm -hmm. posted a few things. Um, among them the gold stripped uh, Norkel, um, which is a semi aquatic Trunkasir living in a large bay to the south of Atlantis and the sun whale here which is actually a uh, actual fossil animal we know uh, the Zygophysitor uh, which he calls here the sun whale this is not endemic to Atlantis but um, he proposes here that they come regularly to the island uh, the uh, ivory hellhawk um, is um, the predatory bird and pelagonicine that goes more for inland prey, also not with its uh, teeth, but also with its uh, with its um, claws. Uh, the greatest otter, greatest otter shrew, <laughs> uh, is a tenrec relative that lives on the shorelines and the um, freshwater habitats of Atlantis, uh, and the masked rock um, Turanornis very large um, flying um, pelagonicine that uh, goes apparently after bigger prey. Uh, oh, one of the fan favorites probably uh, by Ovo, um, the ant sombrero. Yes. Yes, it's it's a pe peculiar looking <laughs> tenrec relative with lots of spines that it can lower to to completely hide in when um, a predators approach. Uh, then a bunch of uh, entries by P. Fedori, uh, starting here with uh, another um, a danger duck, um, then an interesting looking plant, kind of looks like um, uh, an orchid, um, living apparently up in the mountains, uh, similar to, uh, n next to next to volcanoes. Um, uh, a dugong relative, uh, the bat-eared jackal, um, a fox-sized mesonychine. Uh, oh, and the um, uh, Lamia giganteus, um, Albinerpetontid. Uh, that can rear up similar to a cobra, by the looks of it. Uh, then the stick crab, um, a crab that evolved to look like a stick insect. Um, fascinating idea, I have to say. Um, I could very well see Cretaceans going that way at some point. Um, Parazenodon, um, uh, it's uh, a descendant of... Um, 
Herbivorous snakes from the Paleocene. Uh, and next entry is by Paleo Art by Pedro, uh, the Sparrow Patu and the Atlantis Prickly Fault Shrew. Uh, another Tenrec relative, I would assume. Uh, then Paleo Dude submitted um, a small hunting parrot. Uh, and Vinatopsitacus rex, a very large hunting parrot <laughs> with a size similar to a golden eagle. Um, only one entry, I think, by, by Miguel this time, and that's uh, uh, Atlantean uh, cockroach, uh, Atlant Atlantoblata viridis. Um, Peanut Pal has also. Um, Entry the um, bearded toadfish, uh, beautiful little critter, and now uh, in, uh, now now another really big bunch of entries by Pectinodon. Um, starting with the hippophilid, uh, more grasses, uh, more bats, uh, even more bats, um. Uh, a bot the bottled uh, cycad, uh, interesting looking plant, more cycads, uh, giant cycads, a palm like cycad, a curved cycad. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, which one is this? Um, I think so, these are passerines. Um, then a false owl, uh, owl um, member of uh, the mouse birds. Um, more birds. Uh, do, 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 do. I think these are quails. More quails. Another quail. More of them. Uh, a, a tenrec relative. Very mole like tenrec relatives. Uh, little. Um, um, what's it called? Little hamster relative. Um, there's a tenrex that looks more like a hedgehog. Um, a mustelid that looks more like a pig. Interesting idea. Uh, Tarsos, another mustelid that looks more like a mustelid. Another mustelid, um, big omnivore, up to 120 kilogram. Damn. Um, uh, the sauna scene that, uh, Apparently uh, evolved similar to a kiwi with a long tongue to, to go for insects. Another lysonacine. Um, a relic with a dome shaped skull used as a battering ram. Hmm, where have I seen that before? <laughs> um, uh, then a uh, more crane like relic. Uh, um, uh, Ali, um, Parvisuchus uh, descendant, uh, so so crocodilian, uh, Pseudopapio, a plesiodapiform that uh, looks like a baboon. Uh, another relative of that. Um, another plesiodapiform, but uh, a little bit more uh, eye eye or limo like. Um, some moths. One of them looking very much like an owl in front of you. Um, a bunch of um, lizards, real lizards uh, like uh, Galotia here, being up to 70 centimeters long. Uh, wait, yeah, that's also lizard. Okay, yeah, uh, more butterflies and moths. Um, another danger duck. Uh, another trancosier, again with uh, quite quite similar to to some um, proboscideans. Um, Petrosus uh, is a uh, uh, pantolamptodon uh, relative, uh, similar to a pygmy hippo. Um, we have a pelagon scene here, a very large one with up to four meter wingspan. Uh, another um, large pe pelagon is seen with up to five meter wingspan. Damn. Um, Cunolat, uh, Cunolutra. Um, a mustelid, um, very long one, up to one and a half meters. Damn. Um, there's a mustelid, 
a little bit smaller. Uh, now stuff by Petite, um, open bushland uh, stuff. Um, Petite did many of these things similar to to like like a field guide um, for for survivors on Atlantis. Uh, so we have here um, Atlantean triffle, um, the fruiting bodies um, of certain mushrooms. We have horse tails with your different uh, forms of the shoots. Uh, they have the void clover, um, which uh, has very dark leaves and these beautiful pink flowers. Um, but it also did this bunch of pelagonia scenes that are more like gulls with short, heavy I think beaks. Everyone is roboting a little bit. Joshua is completely gone, though. Wait, what? Oh no, sad man. No, we just didn't hear him, but I, I heard the yeah, water. Yeah, I heard the water so... as well. Okay. Yeah, you are all very roboty to me. Oh, test, test, test. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. You you are very robotic to me too. Ben. Uh I wish my connection was better. I can't understand you at all. It's very robot. I I think I will just continue. Um, check check the audio on on Twitch. How it is there? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I can't understand the fucking word you're saying. On Twitch too? Oh no! Now it's fine. Suddenly. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, you, you as well. You as well. Okay. Huh. Back to normal. Okay, I don't know what. Weird. Yeah. Anyway. Going on with petite uh, the coast uh, for the coastline forager, we have the Atlantean kelp. Um, as well as, well as cotton candy algae, these red algae there at the bottom. Uh, then the bushland stuff, we have um, different uh, creepers and small small um, uh, flowers like the snake berry or the citrus rash. Um, also for the coastal waters we have uh, sugar snakes, with, which are um, Oh wait, no, this is still for the for the bushlands. Uh, um, basal colubrids that uh, live in uh, the undergrowth. Um, also, we have peacock fish, um, a family of uh, crest fish um, with extremely elaborate headgear, um, very derived dorsal fins. Um, oh, and of course, a bunch of uh, animals for. Um, uh, the coastal realms with um, sea urchins, sea stars, and stuff like that. Uh, also, because um, they they survived into the um, uh, into the Miocene, we have um, paleophytes again, three species, um, and uh, a species of no two species of uh, nautiloids. Uh, also, by petite are. Um, an electric ear array, um, uh, a late surviving Nasolumna species, and two species of um, uh, chimeras. Then a bunch of pygmodontiformes um, and uh, some open water predators. Uh, next is. Wait. Ooh. Next um, entry is by, by Rene or, or Phantom. Um, a turtle with um, quite large shell um, and uh, very uh, very elaborate um, carapace opening. Uh, then by Pseudocheles uh, we have a Bulbaferus, um, one of the sm 
I'm not sure. Yeah, one of the smaller species of, of turtle we have on Atlantis right now. Um, then Lurus Degus, um, Trogoloditis, the hardened cave crawler, um, a testudo relative um, that is a troglodyte, so a cave dwelling turtle. Then uh, Tarbosornis, um, a large uh, inland river um, predator, a, pe a pelagonacine. Um, then uh, uh, a deer, uh, Notopsis. Uh, no, 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 not Notopsis. Uh, Notopis. Uh, then Putu Testudo, um, a small uh, Nanchium Chalet for the sandy grasslands. Um, and uh, Irato, um, Irritato Batrachis, uh, which is a large, very short tailed Lacerdid. Uh, next entry is by Raoul, um, the Blind Soil Dragon, um, which is a relative of Draconerpeton. And um, also uh, an Albinerpeton to it uh, from the same family is this guy here, uh, Apotophides. Um, also Mucornis, um, one of um, the offshoots of the forest darters that Raoul introduced last time. Then we have the entry by Rick Raptor, who produced a wool community of creatures, beginning with the <laughs> with the cumrat, uh, then the sea potato, the snail on spilled blood, and the spectre of communism. Um, please check out these different species names. <laughs> And yes, this is all um, a very elaborate meme. Uh, then we have by Scorpi, uh, uh, Gargusucus, um, uh, which is a um, crocodilian, I would say. Yeah, it is a crocodilian red to Parvisucus, um, living in the um, central plains of Atlantis. Um, and it has this very theropod like skull with a. Um, little horn i think that's uh is it a resonating chamber similar to what gariots have uh, do, 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 do. oh no it's okay no mission with the artist it's more in structure uh, a seasonal yeah one yeah that. yeah i i see it and uh, then also by scorpi here's this little quail um with these little crests here the the males are very nice. I, I, I like that very much. Uh, another crocodilian um, uh, that is much more widespread is this guy, Caracalisuchus. A uh, very fast creature by the looks of it. Um, okay, next creator is Screen Samurai, the tree feathered quail. Another one. <laughs> um, yeah, but this is a big one, up to 60 centimeters tall. Uh, then the um, Alpine Cerberus, uh, which is a um, uh, meso mesonychian, so a hippophilid. Um, and then uh, we have stuff by Sebastian Artwork, um, starting here with uh, the Atlantean Sailback Lizard, basically a Pseudo um, Demetrodon, uh, then the Balus flying lizard, um, true lacerdid, um, and uh, Atlantean false partridge, um, a quail, followed by uh, the hand nosed false mole, <laughs> uh, a tenrec relative. Um, this little creature, which I quite like, is a, a fan-beaked uh, Pinocchio lizard uh, with its extremely long rostrum and the fan-like thrashers on its back. I, I think that's an interesting thing. The Terror Knight Shrew, also by Sebastian Artwork, um, which is also a Tenrec relative with very interesting in integument on its nose. 
uh, than the wetland hamster, which is just a hamster, but it's a good swimmer. Uh, and then various creatures from all over uh, Atlantis. Uh, he made here a uh, um, freshwater albinurpeton that looks kind of like a uh, diplocolis, uh, a parrot, um, um, a big snail that uh, I think goes after uh, nestlings of, of various birds, uh, and this big Elvis parrot. <laughs> uh, next one here is a bunch of uh, other uh, creatures, very small ones. I appreciate that. The flower shrew is a very interesting idea. Um, also, it's a sausage weasel, a long little weasel, um, and the red wattled parrot, small parrot with with large red wattles on its chin. Uh, next is here the Atlantis Gliding Lizard, which I think is a very direct reference to Primeval and their Coelura Zaravis. Uh, oh, and now uh, Science. Um, science, of course, uh, like last time, um, with a lot of wasps, uh, starting here with um, a pollen wasp uh, that is nesting in snail shells. Then uh, Acronospis that has these chimney-like uh, structures as openings to the underground uh, nests. And Timaeus uh, fuscipennis, um, which appears to be um, a solitary um, whale, uh, uh, not whale, wasp, uh, <laughs> Oh God, my my brain already. Um, that is um, uh, paralyzing uh, larva of of our other insects um, as uh, food for for the brood. And now Shamusaurus uh, with a bunch of little sculptures, always appreciated. Starting here with a southern trunco swine. Um, Another Trunkos here. Uh, by the way, um, Shunosaurus was also the one who introduced uh, Trunkos here. So, of course, uh, they would have uh, a bunch of these as well. Then, much bigger, the Towering Trunko or Towering Trunk. Um, Trunko Titan is the genus name. A quite large um, Trunkos here that lives in open woodland habitats. Uh, the more low to the ground lowland fat trunk, um, it's more like 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 a rhino or a brontosaur, um, and then we go to the Atlantic uh, Atlantic bush tenrec, a small insectivore living in open woodlands. Um, then we have also here the inland uh, ex excavator. Okay. It's uh, like Excargo delegator. Yeah. <laughs> Excargator. <laughs> uh, a Durophagus uh, carnivore. Um, yeah, up to one meter in length. And then the Atlantean giant snail is apparently one of its favorite foods. Um, here we have the eastern hoof dog, um, a hippo uh, canine, uh, so Mesonychian uh, hippophilid, I mean. Uh, that looks more like um, like a canine, um, or like a. It it looks quite like a, a, a entelodont, I have to say, uh, especially the one with the open mouth, which is nice. And then the Atlantean tree monitor. Didn't we already have an Atlantean tree monitor? I feel like we already have. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, one of these uh, larger um, varanid species uh, living up in the canopy. Uh, then the eastern grass tortoise um, is uh, Shangosaur's um, um, entry here in terms of turtles. Um, herbivorous um, medium-sized turtle, just 50 centimeters, which is really just medium-sized considering what we have in terms of, of entries. Uh, then the shepherd parrot, um, 
lives uh, omnivorous in uh, grasslands and uh, appears to follow grazing mammals around. Which is an interesting idea, Some similar to what we have with, was it the white aigrettes or, or cow, no, cow aigrettes that follow large herds of, of herbivores to, to pick up the insects they disturb. Um, shark lover here with uh, the king beetle, um, quite large um, beetle that uh, develops in uh, under the bark of trees in the wetland areas. Uh, the alpine snake, a colubrid, um, that li lives up in the mountains. Here was interestingly a very distinct uh, sexual dimorphism. Uh, then the tiger salmon, uh, here with spawning and oceanic morphs, very interesting. Uh, and the hawk shark, which is not a shark, but by the looks of it, a sturgeon. Uh, boo -boo -boo. Also a shark lover here, these entries, a uh, yellow cave crawler, um, an isopod, Atlantean cave shrimp and the pygmy cave eel. All stuff for the case. The case is something we didn't have that much last time, so uh, that's very uh, appreciated. Uh, then here, stalactite spider, guano moss, and cave catadids. All um, uh, again for for the case. I very much appreciate here also the thought that went into the guano moss that appears to live off the fungi that grow on um, uh, on on the guano of of bad colonies. Uh, then by shrimp, the green dragon parrot, which looks like a, a tiny Tyrannosaurus with a parrot beak. <laughs> um, like the size of, of a golden eagle, I would say. Um, after that, also by shrimp, um, another crocodilian living, living mostly on land like along the coasts. Um, quite Raoisukian like and look at this little baby. It's so cute. Uh, then we have uh, another Varanus species. I would be hesitant to put it into the Varanus genus because yeah, it's, I mean it looks very distinct and and Varanus is something that just around this time began to emerge I think. During the Miocene, I think the oldest species of Varanus we have are from the Miocene, so I I would be hesitant to already put it there. Uh, then terror storks by Sinaman or Zinaman, um, uh, um, Pelagonocenes, uh, flightless, uh, with interesting crests on their noses, and uh, uh, I I very much like the the patterns they gave it here. Uh, another. Uh, I think it's uh, oh wait no Macrorhinosuchus uh, descendants uh, that should be a Heurisidae but more for the, the open lands uh, the Pell trunk another uh, Trancoseer that went more into the direction of um, Calicoseers with its very mobile frontal appendages that have these knuckle walking um, hands and, and large claws. Uh, then the root coup. Um, oh, it's an Alomalomuid. Uh, it's, it's a um, group of rodents that uh, is very little known, but that I specifically put on, on the list. So people would be like, what is that? Um, then the grassland skrunk and the mountain skrunk, uh, also anomalomyids, um, uh, herbivorous, uh, herbivorous little little creatures. Um, oh, and the whiptail tenrec, another tenrec relative, to twenty centimeters long, with with very spiny tail. That looks nasty. Uh, a false um, echidna, a echidna tenrec. Um, and the. Oh, Metaxocerium! Metaxocerium uh, maculatus. Um, 
the genus actually exists, uh, but here we have a specific one for Atlantis. Um, then the bearded mouse bird, um, interesting little creature, and then uh, the hippo otter, a mesonychid, and a uh, micro uh, polydon rex, um, uh, paddleless uh, paddlefish. Then Sir Satire submitted this beautiful little thing, um, which is a sea dog. <laughs> Uh, it's a hippophilid with dentition that looks like it belongs to an early cetacean. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's it's apparently uh, um, living along the shorelines um, and uh, shallow waters of Atlantis. Um, so maybe we will already see it today. Uh, then Skekdodo has a bunch of plant By submissions. The way, we just hit the, the two hour and ten minute mark. I know, I know, I noticed. And my my uh my voice begins to fade. Um uh, <laughs> interestingly Diplocephalus, that sounds not like a tree. Um by Skekdodo here with with these interesting hanging fruits that look a little bit like avocados. Um, also by Skekdodo, Protosiren, Protosiren again, a Cyrenian taxon that we already uh, actually know, uh, but this is uh, a late surviving um, species um, that thanks to the isolation of Atlantis uh, still persists during the Miocene there. Uh, then Corona uh, Tuscorito, um, a, a rail he, not, he calls it here a small rail, but looking at the size shot, I mean, that's a large ray. Um, and, oh, there's more on, on the uh, the trees with the hanging um, fruit. Um, also, ooh, ooh. I, I think I have these saved in, in the wrong order. Um, the, the tree and uh, this should go together and this um, bird should go together with this because this is a second species with um, very, very extravagant um, headgear uh, of the, yeah, another another re relic. Um, then uh, Atlantis cicadacea, um, form of cycads that only exists on, uh, on Atlantis. Um, with some interesting forms here, uh, apparently adapted to, to rather dry climates by the looks of it. Um, oh yeah, and uh, a sprawling plant or a creeper um, called the sprawling wheat uh, for, for the open uh, um, uh, landscapes. Uh, then Pinus Atl uh, atlansiensis, um, I think our first real um, uh, conifer tree we have for Atlantis, uh, a pine. Um, also this, also I have to say, Skektor, you have so many different styles in your entries. I wouldn't know that it's all the same artist. <laughs> uh, do, 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 the Pelta ground beetle, then a uh, mostly coastal living creature. Uh, and the how is it? A oh, rock fairy, um, a small parrot form uh, that lives mostly in the hills and mountains. Um, oh, and by by skin uh, skin wrangler, um, as a tick uh, uh, mersensis, uh, a small gray bluish parrot, uh, that also lives up in the mountains. Um, then we have a uh, small colubrid, also by Skin Wrangler, uh, from the bushlands. And Sky submitted, um, well, a fish. And he designed it in a way that if we get it into Atlantis, we will never get rid of it because it's so adaptable that it's basically unchanged. Brilliant. Yeah, he he did this 
as revenge for for me killing off his his sturgeon. Oh no, gar, <laughs> gar, not sturgeon. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh, and now by uh, Sodradalus, um, another Truncus here, I think. No, it's not a Truncus here. Um, uh, Huracolamta, um, some a uh, large herbivore for the um, for the grasslands. Also, the Atlantean headbutting llama. Very nice. And a uh, um, relative of that uh, for the mountains. And I can't read that name. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. And um, a boar bear. Which I think, yeah, it's a uh, should be a Mizonikin. Very nice one. Uh, by Stefano223, we have the Spotted Plains Pantodont. Um, similar, yeah, again, similar to a llama, in a way. Um, also, these weird um, rays, uh, the Cleaner Paradise Rays, and the uh, Common Paradise Ray, and the Giant Paradise Ray. Um, weird little creatures. Um, the Atlantean False Penguin um, should be another. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, it's a Pelagonicine. Okay, yeah. Um, and to False Shrews um, and the sp Atlantean Spiny Tenrec. Then. Oh, wait, no, it's still Stefano. Uh, okay, the Woolly Leaping Hamster. Um, by the looks of it, a quite large creature. Um, and now by Stormlord, the Dead Leaf Spider. Small little <coughs> critter. Um, the Hooded Butterfly. Uh, the Mole Croc. Uh, fossorial Crocodilian, apparently. And now by uh, Takeshi. A um, bunch of little critters, uh, starting with... Uh, this Pelagonicine um, with six meter wingspan. Then um, uh, another quail, also known as pudgy quails or pudgies. Um, then by by Talon, uh, this very serenian like basal serenian like pantodont, the greater bloat snarfel. And the Bushland Shield Badger, another pantodont, but uh, with armor protection. Uh, he also made uh, some plants, like the Mountain uh, Ambrosia. Oh, I thought he made more. Okay, so only that one. Uh, and uh, now the, archiv uh, the, the Archivist Pen made the Nemean Badger Lion. Um, which should be a mustelid, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's it's more, it's bigger with with large teeth and uh, uh, more more like a wolf. Uh, also by him is the Atlantean Phoenix Partridge, another rail, uh, and the. Ooh. The, uh, the golden day bat. Oh, is this one I put? Ah, I, I, I saved this one twice. Okay, apparently. Uh, do, do, do. Atlantean trash panda is next. <laughs> Which I think is a pay, uh, plesiodapi form. The descriptions are a little cluttered. Uh, then by the Shark Lord, uh, the Mud Cat, a small cat shark. Also by the Filipino Dinosaur, um, uh, Draco Clay Natator, uh, the Bandit Swamp Lizard. Um, and this one, uh, 
Akita Saurus, uh, a spiked lizard, um, a real lizard um, that uh, lives apparently in rocky areas and shrublands. Uh, he also posted the mud spawn salamander. Um, which is, wait. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh, it's an Alban Repertant, okay. Um, with with uh, interesting little osteoderms by the looks of it. Uh, then the Golden Demise posted uh, the Ptiloptards. Uh, Ptiloparts. Um, a group of carnivorous ptilodons um, that range from uh, 90 kilogram uh, to just 5 kilograms. So quite quite large carnivorous animals. Uh, the Great Goober produced several gar, among them the chubby gar um, and the minimus gar, the itty bitty gar community. <laughs> uh, also the blue pig tailed a goober snake uh, and the bumblebee horny toad. Yes, um, and the green pigtail group, wait, is it double? Oh wait, no, this is a different species, okay, yeah, green pigtailed goober snake uh, is, is another one. Uh, oh, this one has to be turned. Uh, the yo made this bird, um, I'm actually not sure what it is. I have to say to people, please scan your stuff or make sure you make good photos of it. Yeah. Uh, next is tool crabs. Um, the dagger crab and the boomerang crab, two very uh, early <coughs> um, submissions by the Siren Lord. Also by the Siren Lord is the warrior saw skate. Uh, source gates, uh, um, oceanic warrior source gate, and the Breen Sawyer source gate. I uh, see certain um, references made here, as well as the ship race. Well, this is just Star Trek with rays now. Um, followed by the false goobies um, or gobies, uh, which are uh, Pycnodonty forms uh, that. Um, have evolved to be more uh, gooby or, or mud skipper like. Uh, then also by the Siren Lord is the Miocene Atlantean Rudists and the Atlantean Sea Serpent. Uh, followed by the Atlantean Neckbeard, which is another Trunkosir with uh, some some filthy looking integument on uh, neck and uh, uh, and throat. Um, also by Serenode are the flower vipers, uh, a bunch of uh, colubrids with um, enlarged skin flaps or scales that look like flowers. And the Atlantean death mushrooms, which are actually not mushrooms, but large spiders that are, I guess, pretty, pretty toxic. Um, then uh, three species of Atlantean... Um, uh, Drosophilate flies, um, some of them with um, interesting looking appendages, and also uh, one species here that tries to look like a flower, although it looks more like a bee. Oh well. Uh, do, 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 going on, uh, Miocene uh, true bugs. Sorry? Hmm? I okay. don't know, keep going, we're almost there, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not it's not much more uh, than here. Um, much A uh, bunch more bugs, uh, amongst them a uh, leaf hopper, I think. Um, Atlantean nautiloids, um, three species, amongst them the rooster nautiloid, a uh, nautilus with a very spiny shell. Then uh, the toadymanders, uh, albinerpetontids, uh, that are much shorter 
uh, Anthropos and most of their relatives. Uh, and the Roven Tigers, um, a group of um, endemic beetles uh, that or bugs that, that live on Atlantis. Also false trilobites. Finally, I was thinking, why is nobody doing false trilobites? But uh, here they are, um, isopods, uh, terrestrial isopods um, that resemble um, trilobites in many ways. Um, by Thomas Trimple, we have the Aphrodite's parakeets and the Herodotus uh, phoenix. Um, uh, Cytochrocolonial posted this Sirenian that is like like a mammalian ray in a way with with large um, pectoral flippers um, to propel it uh, uh, along the um, the ground. Um, then we have by Trilo Boy um, a bunch of interesting uh, entries here, starting with. Uh, Plesiadapi forms, um, three species of them. Well, here's the first one. Um, is like a mix of baboon and 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 lemur in a way. And uh, down here we have a very spiny one. Um, a common theme as we have seen. Uh, then uh, a large uh, hamster uh, that lives in forests of. Um, Atlantis and uh, a group of very um, gray cell pantodons, oreolamptids. Ori um, three species shown here for, for the grasslands. Um, yeah, uh, quite interesting development. Uh, then some more basal pantodons, oreolamptids, um, living uh, more in the um, um, in the forested areas um, and this fantastic little creature called uh, Patomorcus, um, very weird semi-aquatic um, animal. I, th I think it's semi-aquatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, it's described as a cross between hippo and beaver. Um, uh, then the uh, uh, Pyramidon is uh, a multi um very social creature with uh, kind of otter-like. Uh, and then we have a bunch of robust pantodons, um, another uh, branch of the Oreolamptids, um, uh, with with interesting facial features. Uh, Troodon posted. This electric chainsaw, <laughs> a one meter long freshwater pelagopristi, um, that is apparently not just electric but also has this, this uh, rostrum with a denticle. So, a uh, beautiful mix of all. Uh, by Turkey, we have uh, a pumilopter, um, which is a small slender seal, a basal seal that lives in uh, mangroves and along uh, the coast of Atlantis. Uh, and we have the bearded forest fowl by Turkey, uh, again by Turkey, um, a very derpy looking uh, little bird. Uh, and I think it's, yeah, it's a little Um By Tuxedo Sukumimus, we have uh, uh, a tree the druid fruit tree, as well as the um, druid f uh, flyling, um, which is a butterfly that uh, uh, pollin I, I guess also pollinates it, but also most importantly um, eats as a caterpillar its leaves. Um, also by Tuxedo Sucomimus we have the paddle finch descendants, um, a bunch of different species. Um, that uh, have derived from this entry we made canon in uh, the last phase. Uh, by Velociraptor we have um, uh, Focornus ichthyophagus, a four meter long Kumerganser um, <laughs> that only comes to land to reproduce. Um, 
and it's it's a colossal burn. <laughs> Uh, by Victor, we have Monty Gallus, uh, another uh, uh, rail um, that lives in the Alpine regions, up to 60 centimeter uh, big. Uh, oops. Uh, oh, I I miss ah oh, shit. Uh, the vulture parrot. Uh, I. That's the name, but I had this. I have this, 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 this wrong file name here. I I no longer know who did this, but I think this is uh, reading as Berlin. Um, so yeah, a large um, uh, scavenging uh, parrot. And by Weirdfish we have Platus Plum, um, a large tree with fascinating-looking um, fruits. Followed by uh, the common knife herring. Um, I know a descendant of the common knife herring, the Creek bow, Bowie fin, a fish. Um, another knife fish um, uh, that we introduced last time. Uh, by Yellow Panda, we have uh, Mackay's canoe uh, form, a uh, small parrot, uh, as well as uh, another. Atla Atlami Pristis uh, species, the lesser Atlas saw. Um, and that it? Yeah. Ah, it just took two and a half hours. Um, yeah. Oh my fucking god. Free. Also, J uh, James has his hand raised if you wanna. Uh, I just, I I'm gonna get me a drink. What the fuck was <laughs> yeah. It's done. Yeah. Uh, me, I... That's well, this was a nice yeah. minute to see everyone. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh, that was a loss, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. Joyful pain. I will also get something to drink. Yeah. Oh, my, my throat. Oh god. Yes, two and a half hours. Jesus, fuck. I wonder why. We did a speed run through the Nemotera, so... Probably here for like another half an hour if we did all of this properly. Jesus Christ. Some real nice three. than that, though. You people anyway. are really dead set of getting yourself banned from the challenge with this kind of talk. Like, Jenny, this is not fun anymore. No, the fuck this shit, honestly. Wait, what are you guys talking about? Who said that? In chat. Uh, in, in the chat. No, just people get yeah. Let's make 100 plus. It's just... I don't know if Joshua's gonna do it, but frankly, I, I'm. Just... Jesus Christ. It, it say max six to seven submissions per person. Ah, oh, no Yes, I think that should be reasonable. Now we just Hello, we yeah, just need nice. um, a limit for yeah, dynamic sure. error. No, we needed a limit for Dynamic Terra, for Pictidodon, for Bear Angle, and a few others. Bear Angle made like 30 entries, Pictidodon made 30 entries. It's fucking ridiculous, like, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I know no quantity has a quality of its own, but we're not the fucking <laughs> Soviet Joe. Union anymore. Where's... Why? I mean, you said we aren't the Soviet Union anymore. But why do we have some Coomer Gander? I mean, I mean, Coomrats. The Coomrats. May I rate this to very active or like aware of But. Uh, uh, yeah. What's what's the lore behind that? 
the law behind what? Sorry, you you cut out in the first part. Pentadons. Pentadons. What what do you mean? Uh, what is the what are they? They are a subfamily family of something or. A p pentadons? They they are their own thing. They they are an early branching family of medium sized to large mammals that ar arose during the Paleocene. They are uh, on uh, a made up thing or no no no, no they, they, they exist thing. exist pentadons are real pentadons are real. How are they spelled? It's like pants and then odon. Exactly how it sounds. Pan are you sure it's pentadons? Because there is a fish called pentadon. Yes. Yeah, pentadons are well known. We had just a paper about one yesterday. What? Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. That's... Uh, happens when you get ammonites all the time. This oh, is a no. fish. I mean, it's, it's a like cool fish, girl. though. It, it's, it's a, a it's cool no, fish. It's a very big nomenclatural problem, possibly. And I mean, the other ones have a T at the end, pantodont, pantodont. Mm. I'm, I'm like, is there a pant? There probably isn't a pant. There is not the pantodon as a mammal. No. Yes, this is a pantodon. Ah. Uh, not to be confused with Pantodont, oh god. No, uh, could be worse, could be etymology and entomology, yeah. etymology. But like, you know what I mean. Fucking fuck yeah. people. Mm. Anyways, mm. let's, uh, let's uh, go away from those nightmares and start uh, there is another. There is another nightmare, though. Just Possibly. Bidex, uh, just draw it no, down. No, no, you... no. I'll go. Okay, uh, let's start with the coastal waters. Ah. Let's dive in. Quite literally. Yeah. I'm here all week. I mean, like, literally, like, the coastline and the waters around there, or like... The, sh the shallow waters. Fair enough. Um... Okay. I think something that I wanted to do since I have seen it is the bearded, the bearded shark. Oh yeah. Because it's yeah, just so stupid. Uh, let's start with that one then. Yeah. That one was a winner when oh, I saw sure. it. Have you redrawn backgrounds, Joshua? I, I yeah, I blocked in in already black uh, uh, backgrounds because I knew this was take a, would take a while. Mm. <laughs> You're a bloody genius, you know that. Very clever. Yeah, not like last time where he did. Yeah. Back One learns from their the mistakes. Uh. Ah, that's better. One learns or one dies stupid. On. Do Rudis, Rudis, Rudis survive here till the Miocene or? Yep. I. Mm, and and they're nowhere around in the Atlantic except there. Yep. I I I've got to be frank. I think that's impossible because they have planktonic larvae. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we, it's it's nice to know that even when Rick's not here, we have someone to be pedantic about stuff. No, but uh, you're going spicky, or I'm just <laughs> I'm just saying that. No, no, it's you kinda... you raise a good point. I choose to ignore. That's kind of yes, I know, but, but there we go. I'm sure we could come up with some um, really, really pedantic reason as to why they're only present in Atlantis. No, I'm just going to wait for someone to notice. 
Mm. <laughs> Most believe it. I approve. So what is the per I, I I didn't get a close look. What is the purpose of the bearded shark's beard? It looks like a chad. Bigger than scratches. Um I mean we only have fossils of it, so we can't really tell. I can only imagine what um, the press would have been like when that thing was first found. Giga Chet Shark just. Yep. Confident. Personal. Well, how many fucking terabyte analogs you Yeah, Wasn't Redex asking about tantalons? I don't know, because like, Nath is having this debate with Mikel right now, who asked about yeah. tantalons, so let's try bring it up. Because apparently Nath thought that Mikel was uh, asking about Headphones uh, and tech. Miguel and Miguel and use destroy Czechoslovak. <laughs> well, Miguel, what? I've got good news for you. Yeah. <laughs> Slovak or Czech? Matt. Yeah. I can't be to uh, turn a shark into a Reddit mod. It's not a beast enough. Salty about the rudest, though. My oh, god, you can be so <laughs> all you want, just be salty somewhere else. <laughs> Don't worry, Vidax. Don't be salty on sea water. The sea is salty for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried about for that joke. Yeah, I thought the sea was salty. What is Gabriel doing in Force Ghost 2? She's sleeping. I th yeah, I think that's that's very likely. Yeah. I think I sleep because we watch Rings of Power. Uh, is oh, so or... I will be honest. I I didn't check in who left and who stayed in the chat after I was done streaming, but I can only assume as Gabriel has been there has been in the chat since oh, then. Oh yeah, he's been, he's been there. I thought I yeah, told yeah. him uh, on it. Quickly hopped into the aquarium to fix something with Nath that you could join. He didn't, and then we started the, the Atlantis stream. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. You guys stream. Rings of power here. Yep. Yeah. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. That does sound about right, to be fair. One hand I like, get it, on the other hand just shut the fuck up and just, you know. Yeah. Like, at least I, I understand why it's like not a complete adaptation, because they don't have the right for it. Then. So far, it hasn't even done anything that's grossly inaccurate to this video. But it's pretty basic, but it's been enjoyable. No, we don't trust anything. I mean, no, I trust. No, I trust. I trust. No, I trust. Rings of power, not for different reasons than I did for Hustle Dragon. Mm -hmm. 
And House of the Dragon obviously redeemed itself already in the first Yeah, those were still just great. Yep. Oh, I can't wait for uh, the episode. Uh... Yes, two days away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> God damn you with the nickname. Ah, <laughs> you know this. I finally figured it out. <laughs> Yeah. Took you all. Mm -hmm. You should call him uh, Ammonite Waifu instead. Yes, let's go. I will not. No, then. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not gonna. But do that it. fits the Rick scene better. It's it's not all right. I I haven't I haven't re re yet re reached the title of Rick, in my opinion. I don't okay, care, you're staying with the fucking name. <laughs> nope. But you're approaching rapidly. Anyhow, for the thrones fan, uh, uh, thrones fans in the chat, I would suggest go or to go and read the mm. the fic that Levi wrote because it's it it's great. Mm. Also, I have to be at. Wait, what? Levi wrote exactly. No, yeah. Basically, House of Dragons really good. Old plot story of how the Game of Thrones started to write that. That's basically it. And it. Hmm. Very nice. I'm loving all these marine invertebrate puns in the chat. Felicity was Oshti. Sheesh. Ah, it's so good to not talk for a while. Hmm. Hmm. The comment is shrimply irrelevant. Okay, now the puns are starting to get a bit decker poor. Was there a pun? I, I really could not. Why? Would octopore have worked, but uh, never mind. Please stop. <laughs> You're going to summer kick, bro, and we really don't want that, do we? Akira is too busy and it's too late for him to join. Yeah, we made sure of that with a showcase. The anti Akira measures. It's literally 4 a.m. here. Nah. Okay. Bearded shark done. Yeah. 
let's add some rudists. No. <laughs> and then Do some it. more rudists. <laughs> no. And then maybe some seagrass for our uh, big herbivores. And also possible. Just looking through the entries. Now oh, let's take some of Petite stuff here. So the Atlantean kelp and the cotton weaked algae. Would this be where coral reefs are or not? I, I put different uh, habitats in, in one here. So kelp forest right next to um, to the um, uh, root is reef. Yeah. The, no, we don't, don't say that 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 is syntagma, please. <laughs> don't make me don't make me do a rant, please. No, you just cry as loud as because of you you make you start. Mm. <laughs> if you start to rent, I just mute you. <laughs> you can uh... rent in silence. We all know why. We choose to ignore it. <laughs> you can't cope, you can seethe. Cannot complain. What should I do? Oh no. I need an oopsie. Yeah. See, I'm done. I could probably do the bump squid. So what? The little guy is trapped. The little guy. Mm, that um, could work. True. I'm gonna go honestly, I'm just scrolling up the submissions chat. Looking at what looks good because I don't very much chat shit from the summer. Yeah, already. that is absolutely mm. fair. Yeah, for for tomorrow I will go ahead again and and sort Ooh. stuff into habitat. You're not gonna. Oh my god, please don't tell me you're gonna do another fucking showcase. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm, I'm just, I'm just. Habitat, so it's easy to. We're all. Just making some folders for myself to keep track of stuff. Fair enough, I was about to be very, very worried. What if next wave Joshua just speedruns it? Hmm. This is speedrunning. Uh, I, I assume Fine. we'll be doing this uh, next week as well? Probably. That's for sure. It's grass, but underwater. Ah, uh, ba ba copy, copy, copy.
Oh, that's a big file. That's a big cuddle fish. Yep. <laughs> I mean, 15 centimeters. Mm. Can make so much fried cuttlefish from that. You can fit at least uh, three to four people. Fang rank rank the cephalopods by that the by taste. Uh, hmm. Cuttlefish, squid, octopus. In which order is that? From uh, favorite to least. The thing octopus is also just one that I don't like as much because of the suction cups. It's a bit tricky to eat. I can I can, I agree on that. Eat, eat That's the one time I had out. cephalopod. I don't know. What? Not, yeah, I I had cephalopod once and it was octopus with noodles. See. And they have the section. You never, you never eat a squid. I have not. Mm. Cephalopods no, are no, very rare here on, on the mountains. It's because they live in the mountains. Yep. Yeah, they're not like you. The ball is pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, 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 I really like. I agree with that. It just my, my issue is the suction cups. Well, you the falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> you don't feel it. I don't know. That maybe it's the way that it's cooked here traditionally. Mm. I I eaten it off, off the grill with uh, with potatoes and ah. Uh, uh, what's the what's the thing? Uh, uh, in English, is it the cheese is it like I'm gonna get flat potato and the thing is it called chard? Yes, chard. A plant. Be Eta vulgaris. <laughs> Beet is also a name. I think though, uh, I've seen it in one restaurant. I don't know if uh, others. Apparently, there's also. We also have like rice. Meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never, never, never tried it, but it's tasty, apparently. Same. And yeah, lobster. Never had it. I've had it. I've had lobster once in my memory, and it's because we accidentally caught one when I went fishing with a family friend. So we we took it, then we cooked it. I kind of felt a bit overrated, to be honest. Because mm. the, the taste never, was kind of meh. I never had like proper shrimp also. And Shrimps are great. Yeah. That, that's that's one thing I do love. Especially if they're cooked like in sesame. And then you dip them in sweet uh, chili sauce. They're fantastic. How many rudas should I add? 
more of them. Uh, oh, yes. Zero. Zero. Yes. Okay, so all of them. Or is it? Or is it the whole alter alternative world where rudists are everywhere? Actually. Unbeknown to you, your rudists are also in this world everywhere. The, wor the, the, the the current world is uh, exactly the same as this one, except Rudists are still here. No, no, the world is ruled by Rudists. Ruledists. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, I'm hungry. Hiding in the Mariana Trench <laughs> together with Megalodon. <laughs> That's a bunch of giant list. opens up and swallows the Moses so yes exactly yeah. <laughs> well, what else should they eat we all know that Druids are macro predators that's why I know no, knows that rudest is still out there. Uh, no one ever lives to tell the tale. Exactly. You know what? I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night, Armin. Good night. Yeah. Yeah, don't blame you. Good night, Armin. The treasure won't get past up to the So, good night. Night. And so.
I think I'm adding an own idea for a rudest here. Call them hell stalks. Patricia, I want to get confused. Half of the island. Never. No, yeah, if you say so. could we add next? Oh, there's a... Uh, the... the blah, blah, blah. This one... fish... Uh, a peacock fish? Yeah. Oh, these guys. Yeah, good work. I, th I think they the they could they could go in their knee. Mm. How big are they? Oh, well, they're super small. Yeah. Therefore, super easy to do it. Just draw one, copy paste it a few times, and boom, done. You got yourself a whole swarm of um. You got a whole swarm of them. Oh, I see you added two cuttlefish as well. Yep. They look cute.
Okay. Ah, it begins to take shape. Let's see. What could we add next? Ah, Gabriel's um, not a light. Oh. Yeah, that can work too. Oh, yeah. I was actually. <laughs> I was actually about to say. Could we add the one I did get in eaten by something just to spite Videx more? <laughs> Since I named it after him. <laughs> we can't do everything out of spite. We can, can do. We, we can do a couple. We things can, out of but spite. that's not healthy on uh, over Langur. Don't get that. Not sure it does have a point. Doesn't matter, it's fine. He said, not knowing what horrors awaited. <laughs> <laughs> but what if I embrace them? Oh shit, armor really went. Yep. Mm. Yeah, I'll, pro I'll probably go as well soon. I, I don't blame. I don't blame you guys. It's three. It's the three fifteen, right? Yep. Mm. Yep. Two fifteen over here. I'm probably gonna go in a bit as well. Mm. Yeah. Honestly, I think that's one of the things I can't wait for when I get back in England. I'll be one hour ahead, <laughs> so I can sleep more. Mm. No, not ahead, behind. Hmm. Yeah, I knew what you meant. Now. We have the Nautiloid. Maybe something a little bit bigger now. <laughs> yeah, the, wal the walrus would be fun. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I was There's thinking adding chunk. adding a walrus. Ooh, yes. Mm. That was was it by f no it was not by fancy who did that? Gaps, yeah. Wait, no, it's by gaps. Cried Raycon, yeah. Further up then. Cried Raycon. What I 
exactly is that chin on the shot? It's enlarged tentacles. Looks so stupid. <laughs> I love that. Ooh, maybe it could be scooping up one of the one of the crabs that uh, that were done, like these ones. Oh yeah, the scallop crops. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That boiler ray crab could work well. Mm. It's big, it's round, very scoopable. I've got to say, the teeth on this walrus kind of remind me of. Uh, I can't remember what they call off the top of my head, but it's um, one of the, that rodent in After Man that kind of evolves convergently on walruses. It has its, and its incisors kind of stick out like that, or at least one of them does. In um, oh, I think it was the male. Yeah. I think I know what you mean. Mm. I'll see if I can find it. Yeah, that that thing is quite gigantic. So is the is the shark bigger than this or just like equal size? I am not sure. Actually, because uh, in in Nath's chart, the the walrus is massive. Oh yeah. There it is. The starter ops, that's what it's called. Ah. Huh. Wonder if it was inspiration at all. Yeah, maybe. It's a cool concept either way. Yeah. Yeah, it's um some sort of rodent. Right, I'm probably gonna bounce now because it's quite late over here and I've gotta get up earlier tomorrow morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's been fun seeing all, it's been fun seeing all these. Yeah. I look forward to yeah, I look forward to seeing how this one turns out. Thanks. Yeah. See you, James. See you. Yep. See ya. Oh wait, James, are you going to Tetsukon, by the way? Um, 
That is my intention, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully I'll see some of you guys there. We shall flock yeah. all there. Mm. We shall indeed, in great numbers. We will arrive at the penguins. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Right. I'll uh, I'll head off now. So yeah. see you guys later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Oh wow. Uh Josh. Yeah. The shark is tiny. The what? Nat posted the scaling ah. of the walrus and the shark. Ah well. The, the, the shark is just closer to the camera. Let's say. No, no, I can, I can, I can easily still make it smaller. Mm. Yeah, it's it's a, a, a black ba a black background, so you can just shrink it, can't you? So yeah, I can, I can just cut it out, grab it, and make it smaller. Yeah. yeah. As a dark master, yeah, I agree. I hope that that uh, Gnas will compile these all together at some point. Yeah. Save Joshua the trouble of making yeah. the size just himself like last time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, also for documentation it. sake, that's true. Also true. Oh, hello, Grace. Ah. Yeah, you missed the half hours of going through submissions. Ah, uh, that both of you to assume I missed that. <laughs> oh, you were. <laughs> Lurking. Uh, more like I I needed to spend some time after this week just decompressing. Yeah, That's yeah, that is perfectly fair and reasonable. Yep. So yeah. I see we're doing some sort of seascape. Yes. Yep. Is this the first of two? It's the first of two. It's uh, the coastal waters, and currently we are ah. doing a uh, walrus. I see. Hefty chonker. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and you've been streaming for how many hours now? Uh, oh, three nearly twenty-four. Four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two and a half hours just showcase. And it would have been a half hour more if we didn't speed run Sudanema Terra. Yeah, yeah, when one-fifth of your submissions comes from one person. <laughs> yep. I tease, but it's pretty impressive, actually. Yep. Oh, before I forget it, I should shrink the shark. Mm. <laughs> ah, Fracas. He's probably not listening. Ooh. What is that? Banana dragon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, 
pull it in. So I have an image that sums up at least a, a few hours of my afternoon no. from today. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> a few. Uh, a few. A f there were many colubrids. Mm. I just love that the not only is the box water damage, which really just is how I feel right now, but also it's a few Calibre Day plus lots of a Laffy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, whichever Ubo Boo it is, yes, they were, they've been dead. They, there are some that have probably been dead since before I was born. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's some old stuff right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is a laffy, by the way? Because uh, that word means something completely different to me. Uh, a laffy, um, used to be kind of a wastebasket genus, I guess. Um, it has since been, through molecular studies, been, um, split up. It, it, it's valid, but not for as many things as it used to. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, which is a bit of a problem when these specimens were collected more than 20 years ago in some cases. Ooh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm getting to know all the synonyms. Mm. <laughs> all the synonyms. Oh, Ouch. God. There. Do you want to know how many synonyms there are? Sounds, sounds like a question from Sesame Street. Do you want to know how many cinnamon there are? <laughs> there are lots. And it's even worse when you don't even have a, a, a Linnaean name to go by, when you just have the common name. Oh, God. Do you want to know how many snakes there are that are lumped under black rat snake? Many. Yes. Uh, okay. The Wait, black rat snake is the common name for many, 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 many yeah. freaking snakes. Oh god, yeah, I can, I can imagine. Everything that at some point turned up and ate red, and was dark yes. colored. <laughs> yes. In some, at least in some portion, dark colored. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh... uh... Yeah, that was uh, one of about, I think it made a conservative estimate of like 12 boxes of that size full of snake skeletons. Damn. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me. This is going to be a multi-year project. Yeah. It uh, looks like uh, Fang's internet knocked Fang out of voice chat. Oh, ha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a fancy petite. one to talk. Oh, huh? let's see. Let's see. Back. I'm going to say, Petite, um, I haven't gotten to much slicing and dicing yet. But my boss might be giving me a really cool skinning knife if he can find it. <laughs> and it was in his pockets all along. No, I know where he keeps his very sharp skinning knife. It's under the driver's seat. I mean, you, you gotta what? keep a sharp okay. skinning knife under your driver's seat. <laughs> Interesting thing. Sure. That man Tell is one speed bump away from a vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing illegal on that. No. I mean, if it's roadkill, it's fair game in most cases. It's a shanky seat. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, and what I was gonna say earlier is that uh, elafi for ass is it's the Greek word for deer. Huh. Well, I'm not sure how much further you could get from deer. Yep. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be an invertebrate. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's true. Isn't there even a deer genus that that has a similar name? I think so. Is it the red deer, which is uh, Cervus alaphus? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Added the crap. Mm. <sighs> Since I'm having crap here, I could add some more crap. I'm gonna get so many knives as part of this job. Because <laughs> 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 I'm. I'm putting together my work budget, and it's like, okay, what am I going to need to put together a really nice, um, well, it's a maceration lab, so hmm. going to need to skin and gut things before I can dunk their skeletons in water. Yes, yes, petite, yes, I know. Um, but as part of my budget, it's like, okay, I'm going to need PPE, I'm going to need some way of disposing of waste. Do I want to do fixed blade scalpels or disposable scalpels? Let's go with fixed blade scalpels because I'm honestly going to use scissors more often. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, I'm adding dissection kits and things to my budget for this, this year. <laughs> Lord Froggo the Third, welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. And sorry for all the knife talk? Nope. Nah. nah. You never apologize visits, for knife talk. You imagine someone visits Grace's house, she, she opens a hidden uh, compartment and she's like, and this is where I keep my knife collection. <laughs> okay, no, okay. This... There's a difference between a knife collection and having a really nice chef's knife. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. No, in the stream, the knife talks the worst that could happen. <laughs> no, it's not. Wait, did I say the worst of the least? The least worst. I... Yeah. No, I was gonna apologize for the knife talk, but I'm completely unapologetic about the rotting animals talk. Mm-hmm. Although at this point you should all be like familiar with that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. The capybara. Mm-hmm. The capybara. Wretched creature. That <sighs> thing still haunts my sinuses. <laughs> <laughs>
Remember that the, le- the next time you eat soup. <laughs> Fucking cheese. Uh, cheese? Well, yes. it won't be tiger soup. Keza? Keza? I have, Keza. I have the worst possible, possible cheese available to me. How bad is it? It doesn't melt. Oh. Is it cheese then, really? No, I think it just. Are you true? Are you sure it's not just some some plant based latex? No. <laughs> it's cheese with freaking starch and stuff. Pretty sure it's crap. Joshua, the name of the is wonder if he could walk. Impossible. I mean, yes. <laughs> But for that, you would need to raise your hand. There we go. Hello. 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 Hey. You're doing the trigger fish. Indeed. Voice review. Nah. I've talked maybe two times before in voice chat. I was about to say, before. we had you here before. Mm-hmm. Miguel just wasn't here. Uh, or she wasn't, just was zoned out again. That's also possible. I'm gonna go, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See ya. Good night. One and a half meters? What? Yeah. Yeah, it's like Ballisti's Vega sized. Yeah. It's not the only one with a cruise at large. I was gonna say, I didn't know that archer fish got that big. I... Wait, what? Uh, uh trigger fish. Arch- Aren't they the same thing? Ar- Ballistis? Archer fish, fish are the brackish ones that shoot water out of their mouths. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ballistis. I know what it is. The one ballistis skull that we had for Bones class was one of the smaller brackish water ones. Nah. Uh, I would explain it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and it's funny, uh, like, uh, what? when was it? Two or three years ago, um, they published teeth from from Cuba. Hmm. Was it <coughs> of of a species of ballistis that yeah is around this size? Yeah, let me see if I can find a picture of that skull <laughs> in my. Uh... <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. I've, I've just got to scroll back to when we were doing fish, and I'm just gonna see if I took a picture of it. Signs point to no. Ah. What did I take pictures of? Uh, flounder. Oh, and the Opa. Oh, yeah. Opa. Here. I... Opa. 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 Oh no, we we could not go without um saying opa every time that we did something with the opa. Opa. <laughs> opa. Classic, classic uh, cheer that we have here when we do dances and all. Mm-hmm. Yep, same. Yeah, but it's funnier when you're just bringing a fish in. <laughs> that fish has some killer dance moves. Yep. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute, did Opa just become the new Ubobu? No. No. Thank goodness. I, I just had to, to balance it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With the Ubobu. Exactly. OK. 
Okay, added the ballistas. Uh, what else could we add? Uh, we could do my pictodons. I was thinking pycnodons. Mm. What about uh, what about a nautiloid? I mean, what? You already yep. have. We did one. that already. Yep. So we have um, the before picture. That was the state that the, I got the opa in, mm -hmm. and the second picture is the one where I've repaired it. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Opa. Opa. <laughs> Miguel, this this gif is so incredibly random, but I appreciate it nonetheless. <laughs> True, they, they are also the more classic looking pictons and not the crazy whatever mine are trying to do. Uh, we could add some coom rats. Oh, oh no! The oh, already? Yeah. Well, and I did not survive till, till the Miocene. No. But towards the, uh, towards the end of the Eocene. Yeah, but this is Miocene. Yes. Yes, they're just holding on a bit longer in Atlantis. <laughs> That's not how marine ecosystems work. Shush, shush. Shush! Oh my if god! If they're shallow reef specialists, maybe it's maybe. kind of... A very big maybe. Paleontologizing just raided us with 132 people! Oh, oh shoot! Oh, Hello. Dan, thank you! Thank you very much, Danny! We we are doing um, something different today. We are doing um, a speculative evolution project uh, about the flora and fauna of Atlantis. Uh, so a fictional place, smack in the middle of, of the Atlantic, and uh, this is already the second phase. Um, and we are currently going through the marine, uh, shallow marine habitats. Uh, um, this is uh, the Miocene stage, so we have lots of um, critters that, that are uh, um, quite distinct. Yeah, this is Valorous, for example, we just added. Uh, or this bearded shark, and now we will add this coomrad, a coomer ganser, um, uh, swimming the gavit. <laughs> it's never not going to be funny. No. Yes, yes, Dr. Mashika. It's more like an imposter Hesper Hesperonis. It's kind of sus. Kind of sus, but uh, it's sus, but in a communistic way. As they say, the bird of the left wing. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite sinister. Indeed. <laughs> We will take the means of production. We will take the means of reef building production by killing all the rudists. <laughs> the funny thing is that they, they didn't even build reefs. Ah. Yes, I know, I know, Vidax Josh. <laughs> I, I am the Rick of this moment, please. <laughs> please, start a screaming incoherent mess so we can make a clip on you. No. I mean, he's I been haven't... getting it comprehensively for the last few minutes, so... Click? <laughs> click? Click? <laughs> I haven't, I haven't yet, yet to reach the rank of Rafik. That, that title is still beyond me. I slightly disagree. No. No. 
Uh, currently, the Fauna and Atlantis are ones that have uh, migrated from Europe, Africa, and North America. Or were <laughs> the island when it split off. Gabriel, you're being asked why you hate Rudis so much. That's not Gabriel, that's Phoenix. Gabriel. Oh, Oh wait, Gabriel was awake. He he left first no. ghost. No. Oh um, my god, he's awake. Sorry, I'm. <laughs> I'm mixing up the people who fall asleep in chat and people who need to fall asleep. Can do I have a permission to explain what bothers me? No. You're our invert specialist. No, 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 no. We all know what bothers him. He just wants to talk about it because it bothers him. Yes. <laughs> can, I, can I explain, Joshua? No! To the, to the... We all know! Okay. Yeah, but the, 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 the person is asking in the chat. But, but very quickly. No, no, that's not... That's not... Nah, that's not the reason. Ah, uh, okay. TLDR uh, animals like this, in my opinion, cannot be endemic to a uh, island. Okay. Hmm. And they, animals. and yet sometimes With they are. Vitex, why don't you go grab a beer just to, to calm yourself no, down? No, no, I'm actually not, I'm not mad at all, I'm just like, all the reactions are over, over intent. Well, that over obviously, we have a hundred people watching, we have to play up the drama. Yes. <laughs> quick, roast <laughs> me, quick, roast me. Uh... This would be funny. <laughs> 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 Everyone in chat, it is absolutely hilarious if you roast Vidax. So please don't don't hold hold back. True, indeed. Like one of my favorites is how he's a bootleg Italian that lives in the mountains. Ammonites are boring. Oh. <gasps> Miguel, how could you? Your Miguel, study group Miguel. is spineless. Ah. <laughs> Okay, that was a good one. <laughs> Let's see who is who is very loudly on their keyboard. Fancy. Hmm. Fancy. When you don't speak and mute yourself when you type. <laughs> very loud. Or just the detection can be raised on the microphone. Um, that is not a Pokemon person in chat whose name I, I'm not sure how to pronounce. Uh, this is a, a Coomer Ganser, uh, or rather a Coomrad. Um, <laughs> who's who's uh, mentioned? It is, it's Riggs, right? Yes. Yep. yep. Uh -huh. Rick came up with the... Of course it is! He is responsible for the entire clade. So, should we... Uh, should we also have the semen skoomer then in this piece? I'm not sure if I want so many Coomer Gansers. <laughs> that name was a mistake. I see nothing wrong with it. <laughs> okay, Coomer Ganser done. We need some prey for the Coomer Ganser. I mean the Coomer uh, uh... The The means of production. Clearly. Maybe another squid? Could work. Is, I'm... is is the squid a capitalist? Is the chubby oh. guard too big for the coomer? Vidax, Vidax, everybody knows squids are capitalists. Come on. Oh yes, I, I have some nautilus who could use a uh, petite. Let me get a picture of them. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Uh, the dark master studying ammonites is like going down a downward spiral. 
<laughs> I mean, it is. It is pain. We could we, uh, uh, use some some of the saw skates by Hidetoshi. Mm, like like the small one with the butt or the one with the trunk. True. Let's use the butt one. So skates so are also communists. Uh, I mean capitalists. But. Why is there a bunny at the bottom of the ocean? Asks Maya Kueya Woyo. How do you pronounce the person's names? I'm sorry. What bunny? Bunny? I don't know. <coughs> what, the walrus? That's a walrus. <coughs> and that's a shark with a beard made out of enlarged tentacles. The so-called shark. <sighs> shark. Yeah. Or do you mean the, the little little purple uh, nautiloid here with its horns that look a little like ears? Yeah. Oh, look at the ray. Hmm. <laughs> ah yes, butt. the butt Roomba. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad that y'all have taken it to heart when I said that if fish have, if there's an animal group that will do something completely stupid with their body plan and make it succeed, it's fish. Absolutely. Yep. Like, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> this is a group that currently includes a fish that feeds exclu almost exclusively on jellyfish, which have very little nutritional value. And instead of using its tail fin for locomotion, it flaps its dorsal and anal fins. Because fuck tails. It's also known as the sunfish. Yeah. The mola mola. It's. it's <sighs> Beautiful. Ever. It's yeah. frustrating. That 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 <laughs> one article someone wrote about it and how frustrating and stupid it is, is still to me one of the funniest articles I've read on the internet. Yeah. Or that that <laughs> uh, when one specimen was like half eaten by by a seal and it still lived. <laughs> yeah. They're fascinating, but it also it just does not care. Why? <laughs> how, I, I'm, I'm, I, like, how does it work? Like, if, if you Nobody knows. never saw it, if you never saw it, and like, somebody, somebody showed you a fossil, and like, some random, I don't know, aliens gathered some information on it, but like, with no context, you would just be sitting there for like, two days and be like, what the fuck is going on here? I yeah. mean, you'd pretty quickly figure out that it's a fish, because again, it has done something astoundingly dumb ah it's a fish <laughs> of course <laughs> but also i don't think we've reconstruct say it's locomotion like we'd go no no that's 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 too dumb that that can't work yeah that's stupid <laughs> that's not how that's not how animals move <clears throat> except well, when they do does. yep uh for the record this is what a mola mola skeleton looks like. Oh, I love it's their very, skeletons. Their skeletons fun. are so good. <laughs> <laughs> they are so stupid. <sighs> Wait, I'm, I'm making fish? the I'm making the chat window larger for people to see on the stream. My 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 favorite my favorite fish skeleton uh, is a box fish. Oh, they are so stupid box fishes. It's incredible. It's just like, 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 why is this a skeleton? How is this a skeleton? No, that's wow. not a skeleton, that's a carapace. So, little, little butt ray is in. Ah. Uh, 
how about now nah, the agony crab is too large uh, we have so many crustaceans or something else that could go over pictodons hmm. yeah I, I i looking for a prey item oh prey item uh another nautiloid maybe uh oh wait no dynamitera had had a little colorful shrimp of course um I think all three of my shrimp are exclusively river dwellers. Oh god, yeah, I see, I see, yeah. You have very little. I do, however, stuff. have a reef squid. I have seen you that. Are, however, the the number of uh, the number of entries, however, confuse you, and you're not sure. Got some echinoids. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. True, true. Petite some. Dollar. Those are cool. Oh, there was this this the sea dollar, yeah. Um, but no, what, also, where where is that by petite? Uh, I'll go with all ah. of them. All of them. Bloop. There we go. I I love these crystal-like sea urchins. I would like like uh, I I would go with all of them. They're easy to draw. They're cool. Exactly. Mm hmm. Danny, how was your stream, by the way, since you are just turned in here? <laughs> True. The Dark Master, there's also the Boomerang Crab. Oh, they're so spiky! Yes. <clears throat> I just put them everywhere, like little... little cupcakes. <laughs> Do you just leave cupcakes in places, Joshua? No, but I don't know what to do with cupcakes because <laughs> I don't eat them usually. Ooh, uh, what about something else? I prefer muffins. Mm, Sorry? I kinda, I kinda like cupcakes a bit more personally. Joshua, Joshua when he sees a sea urchin, hmm, a cupcake. <laughs> Consumes the sea urchin. Doesn't get affected. I mean, there are parts of sea urchin that's pretty tasty. Yes. According to some people. Uh, yes, I have in fact eaten sea urchin. It's very good. It tastes kind of like butter. Hmm. It's funny. It also Joshua looks kind of like butter. Shell. Joshua literally is a floating star. A sea urchin is nothing to him. <clears throat> ah, speaking of stars, I could add the, the uh, sea star as well. Yep. <coughs> that you mean in France? <laughs> yeah, we we cook them here in Greece. We don't eat them. We're here in Europe. <laughs> Ah, that reminds me of of the series oh, uh, yes. Hannibal, where where Hannibal Lecter uh, prepares a meal and he also uses sea urchin. That was my introduction to that use of uh, the animal in cooking. Didn't he? Yes, and parts of the meal were also human, but um, he he, he pre prepared a lot of. Also, then all the 
I mean, look, look up um, um, Hannibal cooking on YouTube. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Today on the Hannibal cooking show. So you had to prepare... No, really. Three. I would watch Hannibal cooking on TV regularly. It'd be like every, Babish every... or Max Miller, but creepier. And every, and every, and every recipe comes with a twist. <clears throat> None of them are vegetarian. None of them are not cannibalistic. No, there were some that were uh, that just fish or stuff like that. But uh, uh, Danny, that's that's nice. Species concepts are tricky. We regular um, here on the stream have troubles because stupid. Mm-hmm. Speaking of stupid, how about this chubby fella next? Chub chub. Ooh, the chubby gar. The chungus. Oh, fat gar. The, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Where was it again? Uh, ah, there it is. Great goober. Wait, wait, are they not? Are they freshwater fishes? No, it looks like it's on the coast. It's on the coast. Yeah, it says shallow waters, coasts, and reefs. Yeah, yeah. Because Gar are freaking invincible. They just go everywhere. Yeah. Lara Croft, and welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. Oh shit, Lara Wait, Croft. we're being called by Lara Croft? Absolutely. Uh, uh, also, quick question. Uh, how What's much she doing six... over here? She's an archaeologist. You mean a Tomb Raider? How much, oh, yes. is, how much is six feet in metrics? So that's what uh... we can get this is that like 1.8-ish? Okay, Gnass, I think, made a size shot. So. It's a big one. It's a big one. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm putting it next to the valve right Anyways, Redex, don't do anything stupid for a bit. I'll be back. I need to do something extremely stupid really fast. Uh, yeah. You're already singing Fat Guard yourself. Yes. No, no, Fang just says that because uh, he wants to clip it when it happens. No, no, I have clips already, and I need to uh, uh, go through them and, and select which one is good. <laughs> you're, you're, you're such a vulture sometimes. Aw, thank you. Now, will you let me prey on you more? It's not like I can stop you, though. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you can go in this house and, you know... And destroy everything I cherish and love. Indeed. <laughs> Except maybe your home, because... We don't love crash anyway, so... Might as well just add fuel to the pyre. <laughs> oh, awkward. Cat? Nothing. Oh. Just moved the wool layer suddenly. Oops. Well, at least someone will be very happy about the inclusion of a guard here. We all know that. Wasn't there a micro gar this round? Yes, there was. Oh, uh, is that is that one salt water too, or is it fresh water? Mm, What's the teeny one? I think it's I think fresh the teeny water. one's fresh water. Yeah, I'm posting it. Yeah. The micro jar. Oh, munchkin gar! It's so tiny. Awesome. 
Minimus. Mm-hmm. Oh no, but the but the species name with a with a capital letter. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Stop. I know. I know. I suffered enough with you from that. I don't need to be reminded. I can. I can always. Uh, I can always uh, make you suffer. Oh, please do. Okay, maybe I won't. <laughs> I am kind of curious how many people learned what the um, rules and conventions of species naming were through this challenge. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you I... can use speculative evolution as a great tool for education. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. I learned now most everybody... of the stuff from Nath last time. And now everybody will think Rudy survived 50 Mars. <laughs> Misinformation plays. Yes. They are taking the bait. <laughs> oh, Fang has his ears off. Well, at least there's no whack jobs thinking that it's not a real place. Am I right, guy? Ha ha ha. We we need an emoji on the server for heights of pain. <laughs> Spain. Spain. Oh, true. We need a sp we need a Spain without S emoji. Come on, Spain without an S. See you, Danny. Have a nice evening. Bye. Later. See ya. Spade without an A. Speed. <laughs> I, uh, <Ba? laughs> oh no. Bird of the left wing and the new Rick. Yeah, after this summer I could use a spa too. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. Uh oh. Turkey. What? Oh! Uh oh? Turkey? Oh. Um, do we dare attempt to sing happy birthday for Turkey? <gasps> we could. Yes. We could. Yes. Let's go. Why not? <laughs> Let's summon a demon together. In one, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Turkey. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Exactly how that song goes. No, no, you come to. I, I, I was muted. It's not fair. We have to do it again now. No. No. <laughs> Once is enough. Nah. <laughs> well, that was insanity. Uh, yeah, that's why I asked if we wanted to. <laughs> hmm. I really do have a horrible accent when I listen to this. Nah, your voice is fine. No, it's not. You're intelligible. That's more than I can say for some of my uh, countrymen. <laughs> Down here in the south, we were doing whiskey and... I don't know, I can't do the accent. Nah, bud, you're still way more intelligible than... Well... 
many When you write out a word people. and you don't even pronounce half of the consonants. I was once yeah. uh, in a, in, I was once in a war zone match with uh with some guy guys from Britain. Uh, it oh, took no. me it took me half a match to realize that they were speaking English. We <laughs> bloody <laughs> what's your bloody bloody fucking a in oh, what the. Uh, I'm sorry. Can can you uh, can you speak English? Oi! What? What the fuck do you think I'm speaking? What? I... And I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> uh, did you see? I, I, I'm gonna share something. Are you Spanish? <laughs> what? Did you see that? I don't uh, think Sea of Thieves. Uh, they're playing Sea of Thieves, and uh, guy's an Englishman, and he comes upon the, uh, the Frenchman. And he's like, hello, and hello, who are you? Are you Spanish? We hate Spanish. <laughs> no, I'm English. Are you Spanish? No, 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 I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> are you Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he laughing? What did you do? No, I'm laughing at the clip. Oh, okay. Petit, Rick, um. Oh. Oh, I was gonna say, Rick isn't here in chat, but okay. Okay, here's the question. Well, that well, we need. Could you not understand Rick him Wall. because of his accent? Or could you not understand him because he keeps yelling all the time? <laughs> <laughs> or because the connection is shite. I wonder what would happen if we got him a decent connection and a decent microphone. Oh, would he be It'd probably just be even funnier. Eardrums who? No, I'm just wondering if we would even recognize him. Probably. Yes, we would. Hmm. That'd be a different person. Wait, was that fancy? Yes, that I was don't... me. Hi, fancy. Hi. Hello. F fancy for a second, I thought uh, I was hearing a tired Akira. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I think I'm adding just some some lighter circles on the ground here. <laughs> Trust me. Those are sea urchins. Trust me. Exactly. <laughs> there are quite a few interesting looking reef fish from Dino Dan, I believe. True. Oh, true. He did some as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or just, or just make a single one and just copy paste it. Hmm. And uh, and I know I contributed at least two, a RAS and a grouper. You contributed a lot this round, bud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but not really to the coastal waters. That is true. It's okay, we'll just Which use was all a mistake. of your plants and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else, just uh. plants. How, how did you think ne ne Nematoda would work? Maybe if there was a bug, like, really in the foreground, we might see it being parasitized? I was thinking, too, like, having one dead and it's breaking out of its gut. Yeah, that's what, that's, that's what I was thinking. Like, right somewhere in the corner. Barely. Also, also... Ooh, 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 can it be, can it be my whiptail? 
Can my whip tail be the dead one? I don't know why I didn't make any nematodes. There were parasites. There were parasites of the whip tail, but then again, it's just a string that's a pale color. <laughs> yeah, Josh, Josh can yeah. probably make up a hundred of them on the spot. <laughs> Uh -oh. Everything but... okay? <laughs> Shot him a 12 year old boy. <laughs> well, what? Uh... The question is, um, is the question really is, uh, Oh, hello. Oh, no. Hey. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's the birthday boy. Happy birthday, that. turkey. I'm not turkey. I'm not singing that again. <laughs> Sleep I finally got to sleep in. It was nice. Yeah, now you're spending your time with all of us. Yeah. yeah. Suddenly you, you wish you had stayed asleep. Oh, I don't know, no, I'm getting a real chaotic vibe from chat tonight. I woke up and really? the first thing I did I was didn't get over, there's... grabbed my phone and hopped into this. There's 63 people plus the invaders. I think some of that is the invaders. Yeah, yeah, it's it's all invaders and regular people. I think in the moment it's half and half. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it's rising I, I, as we speak. I tried to restrict myself to making, like, ones that <laughs> already existed on the island. But then I was like, oh, but I could make a tiny seal. <laughs> or a, a small... Yosha, will there be a rudest in a Holocene? We shall see. If there's gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make stuff. one, and and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like look at it from the point of. You will make it the shape of an MI. No, I will make it like a. Get it some like weird, weird name. The something. rudest uprising. Would it be likely to have a freshwater rudist be one of the only survivors? Uh, like some weird specialized no. form. You mean they never did went into fresh water? But True. but I mean but I mean possible things weird things happened. Uh, uh, have you heard of uh, Trigonia? Ah, uh, yeah. No, it's not Trigonia actually. What's the thing? I What's know the... Trigonia. Yeah, it's Trigonia. It's something else, but it 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 looks similar, but it's not related. I think. Oh, there is a key. Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it. Here. You will find it. Yes. Uh. Uh, Little Congeria, Angel, welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. Congaria. Did you... Did anybody hear of Congaria? I have not. They are very common biolives, especially in Miocene. They were almost, I think, completely marine. Uh, they found one in the same genus still alive today. You know where? Some lake? In a, in a cra cave in Croatia, in fresh water. What the? Of course. Well, of course it's just the creations took them. Yes. Or for themselves. We just kidnapped it. it you were going to Croatia. <laughs> no, no! Yeah, it's those like, damn no, Croatians. No, 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 no. Oh, these damn Croatians. <laughs> Croatians. 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 My dumbass Croatians. tried to zoom Croatians. out on the way, 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 way. The, 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 the hypothesis is that... The hypothesis is that uh, they were... Um, 
they were trapped in uh what's it called uh like the paratypus sea in yeah the, in the on the like it was like it covered like a wide area of europe and even like to the eastern parts like almost to, to the to asia and when it got reduced first it got reduced to a lake and they they adapted to like more freshwater conditions and the ones that survived adapted to the to the caves i i have not heard of heard of uh, people who discovered it it was like a relatively recent i think discovery people who discovered it uh, they knew of Hungaria, they knew that, that it existed, and when they s saw it, they were like, uh, "Why are you still alive?" No, this is this is not supposed to be like this. Nice, very nice, very nice. So, like a freshwater oh, route okay. could work. I mean, I'm still still blown away that we have freshwater sponges and stuff. Yes. Although it's not even that uncommon. Crazy. We mm. have a we, we have a cave sponge also here I, endemic in Croatia. I realize we had a cave sponge. Yes. I I've just looked at the like the latest oh submissions, my like the really late ones. That gliding li lizard is straight up out of prime. U and then look at the one in the corner of that page. I mean, I think we all have seen this uh, cave sponge by now. Oh, the god, that's cursed. <laughs> they went what is from it? here. They scaled it at 19 inches originally. Oh, I thought y'all were saying that there was like a legitimate species of like cave living sponge, not. Yes, there is. <laughs> yes, that's what Mirex just really said. <laughs> Here it is. Sponge. Ogle, ogle, ogle cave sponge. Oh, is that something like spongy ah. trouble Heidi? Oh, that's weird. No, it's oh. Eunapius subter subterianus. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Any other random... I'm oh, sorry. Oh, he's watching the clip. <laughs> <laughs> that fish is looking really good. Ooh, it's a fish. Very pretty fish. Poisson. 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 I've been to the to the lake where the sp the spung is found. Did you swim with the sponges? No, it's like 30 meters below the surface. Oh god, no, okay, never mind. It's it's, it's like a small, itsy bitsy lake, but it's basically a whole bottomless pit <laughs> in the ground. <laughs> oh, it, that, it, it, I don't it, like it, that. It, fe it feeds to a nearby river, and there, there's big fish inside. Fish. Is the fishing good? Nah, I think it's protected. Damn. That's good. I mean, yeah, it is good, but damn, I love fishing. The fish. The fish feed the spawn. Ah, cave, cave environments are very fragile. Mm -hmm. There's, there's like, I think in the, in the cave that's connected to the lake, it's like 200 meters. I think there's a, there's a fish that lives only in that cave. When it was yeah. discovered, it's it's it was immediately put into the like highly endangered like crit critical protection. Yeah, that's status. kind of how it works with cave environments, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. in a Facebook immediately. I'm in a Facebook group that is solely dedicated to cave beetles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's hmm. random. That's pretty random. Do do you know that about that uh, that beetle named after a certain uh, German di dictator? Oh no! Ah oh, boy. Oh. Yes. Yeah, isn't it? 
threatened by certain people collecting it yes. for certain yeah. reasons. The fascists yes. uh, killing their own Führer. Isn't that uh, yes. Look at this. Oh, dear. Look at this thing. Oh, that's this a is... gross-looking beetle. Grungy it, little dude. Uh, honestly, 50% of all cave beetles look like that. Yes. Or even ganglier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. It's a uh, Jesus Christ! Wow. It's it's it, <laughs> it's the the guy literally named him after Hitler. Like and, and he, uh, apparently he got a, a letter uh, by the dude himself, like thanking him. And the letter is preserved somewhere, I think. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Imagine that you're like you're the dictator of a country, and you're like. Sending a letter, like, Josh. hey, yeah, thanks for the beetle. What about the next one being uh, this one? If it will load. Since we, we, we do, we should at least have a Slovenian in. I am still part of the Chunky they... Flight List Diving. Oh, yeah. Years. The, the IC, ICZN uh, Ooh, apparently wanted Syrian. to... Ooh. Look at that boy. The ICZN uh, wanted Wait, to rename it, it but but it was like decided that it's against like the rules of nomenclature. Oh wait, before oh oh I found it I found it. But I think before we do that, we we have to add um um Sky's Revenge. Yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> the ladyfish. Yes. Bring on the ladyfish. The oh, ladyfish never die. Context? Ladyfish to just... Um, apparently ladyfish are nigh unkillable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Sky pulled a citation for uh, a paper <laughs> that had ladyfish apparently surviving in a pH of zero. What? What, <laughs> what the fuck? Out of spite. Yeah. And to that I say, holy crud muffins. Very nice. Like just someone did. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. that was a photograph at first. This guy is incredibly talented with drawing fish. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, fish. I'm pretty it's convinced the guy in himself is a fish, that's why he's good at this. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, of course he is. is. We all are. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. I think I would die if the Electrobranchia, or whatever I called the Electric Ray, survived another phase. Because it's unchanged. It's just, just a slightly... Just survived by... Wait, Petit, you made an entry of it, didn't you? <clears throat> The electric ray. The big yellow boy. Ginormous boy. We always. Uh, uh, small yellow. question uh, for, no, for those like me who don't quite know all this stuff. Is zero P like zero oxygen level? Zero pH no. is acid. That's like strong oh. acid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Flush off acid. It's the measure of the of the H plus cations in the solution. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see now. Indestructible fish, which is basically acidity. Yep. And the lower it is, the the lower it is is uh, it's more acidic. The higher it is, it's more based. I mean, it's which like... is also not good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. If it's more based, it will still be cringe. Yes. If it's more based, you're... you're gonna get like alkaline awfulness going on. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> How exactly? <laughs> Thank you, Shit <laughs> said. You spoke at the perfect time. There's a perfect fanfare. It was great. <laughs>
Uh, oh. Finally, Miguel's theme. <laughs> Jesus, that fish is ginormous. What the heck? Compared to the the bird. Boom raid. It's a big, big fish. Mm -hmm. The boom raid will never get old. Oh god, my brain. What's Why? What just happened to the fish? Well, I mean, it, it the coomer's going to swallow that fish. Oh, no. What, what happened to it? What happened to the fish? What the hell happened here? That is a, that is a very strange. On? It got pixelated in a way, and like it, it got, like, it's full of blue what? spots. How? It's the acid. What, what happened there? It's the yeah. acid is working. The acid. It's the acid. It's the acid, the acid in the water. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I have no, I have yes, no clue what that was. I will have oh, to hang over. That has got his ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been swimming in battery acid, clearly. <laughs> Dude has just been drinking nothing batteries. but five-hour energy. <laughs> so, no, 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 not, not the five-hour energy. Fish. The fifty-five-hour energy. Mr. Coomer, oh, I don't feel enough. so good. But wait, I, I can paint <laughs> over it and... What the hell is this? Look at this. Isn't that... <laughs> what? Have we uh, what is ooh, going on with what? this layer? Oh wait, I think I know what is going on. The so layer mode is, is on uh, destruction. Uh, yeah, we go. <laughs> no, really, that's how it's called when I uh, when when I translate it uh, uh, literally. I know, but it's still very funny that that somehow just happened. Yeah, I have no What's idea why. What's it called in German? Have you Finished accidentally on. gotten a Let's blue like oh. spray paint brush and gone over it? Yep, I didn't hear anything. Is there a layer above it that has blue on it? No, no, no. It was just the mode of the, mm -hmm. uh, of the layer. Mm. <laughs> Why do you have so many words for destruction in German, Joshua? Not that many. Yeah, just like five. <laughs> That's not many. Oh no, there's five of them. I mean, look look at English. Destruction, obliteration, what else is there? There has yeah. to be more. Let's see. Demolition. 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 Obliteration. Cataclysm. Uh, devastation. Devastation. Cataclysm. Oh, Suffocation. No breathing. Oh, no. <laughs> no breathing for you. Oh, no. I was, when I entered in the chat. I was very underwhelmed to find out that decimation means to only get rid of 10% of something. Because That's it's such a lot. A it yeah, is, it but it's like such an intense word. word. But if you have, say like, amazing. oh, they decimated their army, and you've got like a hundred men, you've only had ten people die. Okay, yeah, a, consider though, big... consider ten percent of what part of the army? If it's your frontline soldiers, that's pretty bad. That's pretty. If it's your logistics shit. corps, yeah. it's devastating <laughs> it's pretty still fucking bad yeah no no if it's no if it's your logistics core um you're, you're you fucked. are yes you're screwed you're royally <laughs> fucked i kind of forget that there's different branches of army i just roll them all into one that's event i mean uh, logistics okay. oh. is the guys that bring stuff to the front yeah it's the guys the, that bring you food the guys that They're bring you food fighting. and shelter and ordnance you Most have of, like yeah. cooks, you have uh, engineers, you have stuff okay. like that. That's like the majority of the army. Doesn't the army have army musicians as well? Wasn't yes. Okay, part of the army? hold up. Everybody stop talking. Most of an army is not the frontline fighters. Most of an right. army is making sure that the frontline fighters 
have stuff. Huh. And most oh, of I'll the be damned. most of the armed men are not on the front line. Mm -hmm. But they're in the reserve. The yeah. back line. Yeah. The real so, guys um, are called. Not to bring in too many real world, world examples, but there was that whole thing back in February and March. You remember over in Eastern Europe? Yes. Uh, Still ongoing. Well, one side. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm being deliberately. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. It only just clicked what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Oh, no. That's anyway, the, the aggressor in that side. Um, failed pretty early on in their logistics and it showed. <laughs> yes. We got mm -hmm. beaten by facts and figures. Pretty much. If you, if you don't have really good logistics supplying your army, um, Dude. you probably shouldn't be fielding your army for very long. Anybody want a free tank? <laughs> 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 That's kind of how it is. <laughs> How are these gas prices? Anywho. Yeah, Continue. basically, bad logistics translates to you are going to die. And so, if you lose 10% of your logistics core, um. Hmm. You're not you going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Pack up your bags. Mm hmm. Uh. Yep, a face a tactical retreat. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> do not collect territory. No, no, that's why they collected all the toilets. <sighs> yeah, yeah. There's a reason why when I made my uh, hobgoblin character, her dad was ranked as the war chef. Oh, <laughs> Not the war chief, the war chef. Mm. Mm, food. I shall put you all in the priorities. I'm looking forward to tonight. Or I guess next morning for you guys. Because I'm having a birthday dinner at an American barbecue place. And I'm going to get so many wings. Nice, because I don't like the way the place does ribs. I hope you have. I hope you have a good wingman. I return to hilarity. It seems. Um, the you know, the way they do the, rib, the ribs yeah. is the meat falls off the bone really easily, and I mm. prefer to have to try and tug it off, which is really dumb. Aww. I know. And counterintuitive, but like, I don't know. I just no, prefer it that no, way. I, I, I agree. I want to chew on something. Yeah, mean... and then I like eating the cartilage bit at the end of the ribs. Okay, that's uh, that's not that oh, much my my. That you mean? Um, really don't like that's that's not in your inner waters to go in. You mean it's a bit counterintuitive? Yeah, Stop. No! Uh, Quite in People in chat died. I see the bodies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the bodies hit the chat. The the yeah, I was gonna say, People on I Twitch, think... type ye into the chat if you're still alive. Nope. Um, nom 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 nom. I'm coming for y'all's cartilage. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I, I do sometimes <laughs> just chicken bones and just crack them and swallow everything what that's part of the chicken wing is the chicken fingers what? especially when they're cooked through and you can crunch and eat the bones what, what? Yeah, cracking them to get the marrow i can understand but going full-on lammer i was yeah. gonna say i didn't what? realize i was friends with a bunch of bearded vultures <laughs> that's what? a compliment oh, oh yes I have a lovely cool. beard thank you but like, no, if, say you go to somewhere like, do you guys have Red Rooster? Nope. 
What? Um, do you guys have that, but... chicken treat? No. Uh, do you guys have KFC? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm KFC. Like yes. Um, the other two are kind of like KFC, but like less oily, and actually feels like you're eating food and not just grease. That um, sounds good. But why would you be eating the main country? <laughs> But um, like the way they do their wings, when the like the fingers of the wing, because they're so cooked through, you can just crunch the bones and eat them. Oh my god! Is that not a thing other people do? Never I heard remember. No. Oh, we can do it. Oh, okay. the we had to get the bones out of the soup. Why are you still yeah. alive? Limbs. Believe yeah, me, I... I ask myself that every day. I remember one time. Yeah, when we were making chicken soup and we were getting the bones out of the soup, I took one of the vertebrae and it just popped into my mouth and it just poof. They're tasty, the vertebrae. It was tasty, but it was just like it. Yeah, it just got mashed. I don't even really chicken. know what to say to that. Chicken necks yeah. are really bad. I like oh, chicken necks. And chicken tails. Do you just. Pop them in your mouth. Om nom nom. Chicken tails. I don't taste the tails though. Uh, I mean, I guess right. waste not want not. Maybe. I was oh. gonna say you, you probably got some really strong bones. Yeah. <laughs> All that calcium. <laughs> mhm. Mm That's why I drink tons of milk. Calcium. Anyways, the, the vanity looks nice. Yeah, metaxitherium <laughs> is, is, is done. Thank you. What next? Ah, that's the question. Fish. Mm. They're done? Just add a human in there for no reason. I mean, <laughs> you could you could do some kind of animal, probably. Wow. Yeah. Why not a carcass of something? Mm -hmm. Oh, the, yeah, the sea plecos. Wait, 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 wait. I'll be right back. I need to. Oh my god, she is that kind torture. Oh god, no! No! Gosh, did I pronounce that right? Petite Yeah. Torture. Oh, cool. Yeah. Torture. No, throughout this entire conversation, I've just had this image in my head. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> yes. My cancer. <laughs> now on I'm Red Bubble, by now. What is that? Oh my <laughs> god, is that a new place? It's knupitalism. Knupitalism has arrived. It was really put that in Atlantis. It <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can, can be a deity for the humans when they arrive. Put that as a cave painting, Easter egg. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. There's something oh. fishy about the streamlight. Nancy! Stop dropping your microphone! Stop, Please. drop, and roll. Stop! Stop! It's time to stop. <laughs> I reckon these three things... Wait, are these coastal? Yeah, yeah okay, cool. Destroy, destroy all ammonites. Destroy all ammonites is just the brand new destroy all humans. Oh my destroy. god, Miguel, why? the horrible why? things you said. Why am I not surprised it's yeah. Miguel? Ooh. But they are evil. What oh, true we have so we had non binary fish. Mr. White, there's a bunch of trunk of fears on Atlantis. We got to mess. They will sniff it so well. Yeah, there will be elf shrimp. Yeah. Well, there is that one plant that we might add, so. <laughs> Have you heard of elf on the shelf now? Get ready for shrimp on the blimp. Shrimp on the you tell me fried this you rice. Can, you can, you can have know? like one of the shrimp on like the uh, the the garlic cleaning it. Hmm. Are we are we chucking shrimps on Barbies? 
Because it's definitely a thing that we Australians say. Oh, crikey. Oh, shrimp on the barbie, eh? Only if you follow it up with a picture of a shrimp on a Barbie doll. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'll I'll do you one better. Prawn on a can. (laughs) Oh my god. Grace, uh, have you seen the big weed on the... the... Am I going to regret? No, no, but for the submission. I was not able to look through most of the submissions. You mean my Mega Cannabis? Let me enlighten you. Oh no. The big weed. (laughs) The trunk of blunt. Does it actually have the properties of modern cannabis? No, it's not psychoactive. Not yet. I figured if I'm gonna make a kind of weird alpine plant, why not from that family? It's okay, then I'm okay, it's okay. It's definitely psychoactive. I'm just imagining it some herb is all eating and going, whoa. It hits hard. That's some <laughs> it is. shit, brother. What you doing about? This is the trunk of the going Actually, through the mountains randomly, eating a plant, and then just <laughs> sees God. It, it sees one of the milk the accurate. Yeah, the taste great, kill you or send yeah. you to God. Uh, uh, one of the milk weeds. Never mind. It's, it's the it's the. Oh, one. the shrimps are on the little dude. That's cute. I like that. Yeah, that's the big dude. What is the difference between a shrimp and a prawn? Uh, uh there's definitely name. a difference. The name. Yep. Is that really the only difference? I remember hearing something no, about a, that. Apparently, a, it's like a um, taxonomic uh, thing. What's that? Oh, uh, here we are. There's an image right here. Google. And like the, the tail shape or something that makes a difference. I thought there's a difference. Deal with the different uh, tr- sh- shrimp go on Barbies and prawns go on cans. <laughs> mostly found in salt water. Clearly. Mostly found in fresh water. Bigger part of salt water. Mm. Oh, okay. Is that why we eat prawns more than shrimps? Because they're bigger? Maybe. I haven't had prawn for ages. Tiger prawns are the best. We had spot prawns growing up in Alaska. (laughs) I think if you go... I was going to say, if you go to the Swan River, but I think only Petite is in the location to do so, besides myself. Um, You can go prawning there, but you only get, like, tiny little ones. I'm in the eastern state, unfortunately. Go over there. So much hit. Oh, shake my head. I keep forgetting what SMH stands for. I only get half of the, these these acronyms. Those are freshwater. Good for you. <laughs> Just that's a freshwater fish. No way! That's a pussy dog. Yeah, but it's a freshwater fish. Oh about my god! Francis. It says I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah. Let me convert it quickly into an ocean-going one. <laughs> okay, then. Just holds it under the water for. Wait, no, it doesn't drown. Holds it. In. <laughs> Where's the money? <laughs> Where's the mess? Where's the damn mess? Where's the money, Spidey Man? It's not about the money, Spidey Man. It's, it's about, about the, the mess. It's, it's about the pH level. It's about the pH level. What it's is mess? It's a baseball it's team, right? Baby, the mess. Get the thirty. Get the get the third impact. Get the third base. I yeah, know all those phrases you know what you're talking about. I don't know. Uh, Rambling happens. Get out of my head, song from Wally. Oh, Wally is a great movie. It is a great movie, but I've got the when the movie starts and he's listening to that like 1950s the Hello Dolly musical. <laughs> Hey, Turkey. 
Yeah. Look in chat. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Shrimps on a barbie, mate. It's true. <laughs> Oh, I, I love the fact that I have to do an Australian accent because I don't have one, but and I've lived here my entire Aussie. life. Uh, it's not a strong Aussie accent, but yeah. I've been asked that, like in high school, I've been asked if I was born in England or Scotland multiple times, and it's like, where do you get the Scottish part from? It's, I can hear it's it. so random. I can hear it. The Perth people just have like a posher accent then I'm guessing. Josh, what the heck fish is that? What is that? Well, have you never seen um uh your uh, chimera? <gasps> Ooh, oh, I love chimeras. Yeah, They're cool. chimeras for all rat fishes, if you will. Ooh. The mission from phase one was a freshwater rat fish. I was planning on doing something, but it didn't really make it. Fish. Strongly fish. It's very scrungly fish. Did it, oh, I should have made an entry and just called it a scrungle fish. <laughs> you know, there's a chance that um, scrungle is a perfectly cromulent name for a fish. Absolutely. <laughs> Knowing some of the fish out there, yeah. Boop boops. The well, next boops. Do I boops, need to? Boops. Repost the AI weirdness of uh, fish ex name experiment. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> um, so here's here's the thing. Uh, Janelle did a couple different variations of this, starting with birds, and the birds. Um, she had to really crank up the entropy levels to get something that was too weird to pass for bird. Oh no. She did not achieve that with. Fish. The more she cranked it up, the more they still sounded like fish. And so her conclusion was that fish scientists are the weird ones. <laughs> no, yeah, that's that's fair. Uh... So that sounds about right. Yeah, let me look it up. It's a it's one of those delightful AI weirdness posts. Um, fish scientist would be an ichthyologist, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Here I've never go. heard the phrase ichthyologist. Everyone just uses marine biologist. It's like, just, just call it an ichthyologist. It sounds so much cooler. True. The neural network meets its match, fish biologists. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Cuban carpet shark is an actual thing. It's just not that, like yeah. that. There and are the... there are so well, many got, wobbegong um... species. It it has to. Yeah, I was gonna say there's wobbegongs which are called carpet sharks. Mm -hmm. Loose spotted air air fish. Let me remind you that the Ar bone oh god, I feel like I'm having a stroke trying to pronounce these. Well, here's the thing. This is from a, a fairly old AI system. Uh, a this is a brute force system that has to learn by doing over and over and over again instead of being trained on the internet. <laughs> uh, <Salt and strip. laughs> well, that's that's one of the early attempts. Scroll down a little bit and you'll start to see um let's see. Dear eel, but dear as in like dearest. Mm -hmm. The beautiful bream. I love how there's just bream on its own. Isn't isn't bream a thing? That sounds like something that exists. Well, there's yeah. bream. No, a That's bream is an actual fish. fish. Oh, okay. Yeah, bream. Actually, it's applied to more than one group. Yep. Moo lantern fish. Oh, that sounds like it'd be cute. Croaker. Rink? The rink. A is a real thing. Mm -hmm. Tile Hyphen. fish. Hyphen stone basher. Little weak fish. <laughs> Whitely ass fish. Danubic spring striped lump sucker. I mean, uh, yeah. Sounds like a Shakespearean insult. <laughs> <laughs> well, not <laughs> I'm gonna start calling people lump suckers now. <laughs> okay, but lump suckers are actual fish. Yeah, those, those are like a thing. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. Horny humbug. Aww. <laughs> the sucking pull. <laughs> Bah, humbug. Wordfish. Bottlenose wobbegong. 
I don't know how that would look. Because their whole thing is being flat and rectangular. So I spot Happy Ghost Perch. I, I posted a gif of a lump sucker. They're adorable. Cats. Oh, oh are these are these? these? Yes. Work fish. Okay, yeah, so in theory, a scrungle would be perfect sense. Like, yeah. And then you can have some major right, scrungle and some Let's minor go. scrungle. Scrungle fish time. Scrungle would be normal for fish standards. Mm -hmm. What kind of fish would a scrungle be? I feel like it would be like a good one. Oh no. Oh, I do not Maybe like the other side. That, that's not, that's that not right. right. It's like that's a disgusting. It's like a portal to like another dimension. The yeah. other portal? Fish the scrungle will be the fish ever. True. Most fish. Slippery are. dick is like the best fish name. <laughs> oh, Toki, that's more like the consumption of eighty seven. The inhaling of eighty seven. Exactly. Herbie, like, inhale noises. I don't, I still don't know what 87 is. 1987 is the, supposedly the year where a kid got lobotomized by an animatronic in Five Nights at Freddy's War. I'm back. Um, actually, no. I can't believe that was 19. I know they wrecked, I know they changed the, oh, they realized it was a different year, but, like, the meme still stands. But hey, it was in the, the summer of '69. So, quick question, Josh. Yes. How Your much more are we gonna be drawing tonight? Sorry. How much more are we gonna be drawing tonight? Considering it's five a.m. I know. Imagine okay, that being it, late. This post was made by Southern Hemisphere gang. Or p.m. over here. I was gonna say, yeah. uh, last time you did this, we had, what was it, an eight-hour stream? Oh, god. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. I'm just gonna say, once the sun comes up, you're gonna need to hop in your coffin, or else you're gonna crumble into dust. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have to go on, on a car ride to... Because we have to attend a wedding at 7 p.m. today. You should better go. I've only been to three to weddings, and all of them have been my parents. No one has your funny art and like help suggest things. You got that. It's yeah. okay. I can sleep on the on the drive there. Yeah, just That's sleep cool. behind the wheel. Not me. <laughs> I don't have a driver's license, why would I do that? Take the wheel. Don't you, don't you all sleep drive? <laughs> Besides, it's, it's quite a drive from... What Athens are you, to... Italian? Yeah, Vdex. No. Athens to where, bang? A Athens to... Uh... Around Argos? I was gonna say, if it's to Marathon, that's only 26 miles. No, 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 it's, it's in, uh, in, it's in Peloponnesus because it's, uh, oh, God. the wedding of, uh, one of my dad's cousins. I think. Oh, you can yeah. sleep through that. That's what, an hour? Uh, a bit more. Consider depending on the traffic. Thing, are you Greek? Do you uh, know the cousin well? Oh yeah. No, I don't think I've met. Her. Can you sleep during the wedding? Mm, no. <laughs> That's kind of rude. Hold up, you're driving from Athens to former Spartan territory. <gasps> yes, but it's okay because my dad is from there. So, we get a pass. 
Are you driving oh, in a big wooden horse? No. Uh, wrong side of Greece. Oh, you're damn. Gonna be, you're gonna be. You're, you're gonna be close to Ammonites. You know that. Yes, Phoenix, I know I'm gonna be close to the damn Ammonites. I, I know I can't go get them for you. <laughs> Even if I had to blow up the mountainside because the the, the rock that seems from what you said is a nightmare. Just, just, mile, just mile them to him. Just, uh, just, uh, just know that you're being watched. <laughs> That's not threatening in the slightest. I mean, did you watch me all the, the time? The do. The Ammonites do. Yeah, okay. Can can we get that gift gone? That's in thing. Please. Yeah. N n n That's gross. Poof. Uh, it's gone. Thankfully. Chuck it into the <sighs> Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you. Okay. Edit. Pycnodons. There's still this big what? open space. Maybe adding some big pycnodons that are one meter long. I think someone mentioned a bait ball of small fish might be nice. That is Ooh. also a thing. Yeah, yeah. True. Ah, uh, a D. A bait ball of dugongs. <laughs> A tiny <laughs> dugong. Like... Oh wait, wait. Micro yeah. dugongs. There, there is, there is this dude here. Oh Lucky no. Two. Yes. Uh, the What's the oh. size? I don't know, but I make it small. I was trying to think of like a mashup of dugong and ray, but small. I like that was dugay. Now how big is this <laughs> 2K beef prime! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that dugong is small enough to comfortably hold in one arm. Aww. Uh, Eat him at maximum force. About... Hold dugong gently like a baguette! No! <laughs> That's a weapon, not, 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 not Step a one, grab dugong. Step two. Loader dugong. I'm trying to be Step quiet three. because I walk because that uh, walked in a, in a few minutes ago. Oh God. <laughs> and also we're not. In <sighs> How many small seals got made for Atlantis? Many. Many. Many cute Not enough. Let's make a thread of all the small seals, let's go. Oh god, this is gonna take so much scrolling, why am I doing this? Don't do this. Oh wait, I have my... anyway. <laughs> god, you're gonna make me yawn too. <laughs> hey, if I can hit more than two continents, I'm doing good. <laughs> Intercontinental yawning. <laughs> Oh my god, it's an intercontinental job! It's coming in right now! No! Intercontinental dugong. Fuck. <laughs> Just That's got the weirdest flash. <laughs> ah. That love scares weirdest. me. <laughs> well, it should. Yeah. Just got the weirdest deja vu. Like when you said continental mind me of stage movie called <sighs> No, you're not getting me this time. <laughs> we shall see. What the hell is happening? Yes. Nano machines, son. Nano machines, son. Standing here. I the I'm the mother of all omelets. You're the mother of all omelets, you Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Can't yeah. egg over I, I, every egg. name your sauce. My sauce, Jack. I made it the fuck up. I, I played through it uh, so, uh, a, few, a few months ago. I've never played a Metal Gear, so, uh, it's, Metal Gear game. It's amazing. It's just like, what the fuck is going on? 
All right, I need to get up for a few minutes. Which means that uh, the voice of sanity is leaving for a few minutes. Yes. <laughs> what sanity are you speaking of? Insane in the brain. Insane in the brain. Back. Where's the disconnect button? There it is. No, that goes turkey. My turkey. She went the way of the dodo. <laughs> Look at all that is these quite a chickens. lot of tiny dugongs. Yeah. Gong dugs. Oh, indeed. The oh, look at the swarm. <laughs> I'll go get power formula to take over the world. There's one of them. Is that a Tyrese eye? What the dugongs looks like it's crying. Shit. Oh, baby. Hey, we just hit five hours. Nice. Yay! So, three to go? It's zero AM <laughs> and nine minutes. I don't know. Mm, I think I'm so, finishing yeah. the, the, the dugong herd and then... Uh, it's enough for tonight. Oh, that seems... Would we just add option. one more Nautilus before we leave? <laughs> Pretty please. No. No. Go to the Dugong Gods. Those two ones look really big. Can you zoom down? <laughs> Wasn't there a side shot of of uh, Serenians? I think so. Mm. Now, nah, where the where the chart at? enough we need in these desperate times what do you mean we the the, the Cyrenian chart since there's one since there's one spot available we could let petite in oh just yeah it's the smallest one <laughs> of course <laughs> look, look at it <laughs> yeah, you could probably hold that thing up with one arm. Just grasp him. <coughs> yeah, I think we can put like uh, a big fish right next to it to show how, how small it is. Maybe one of the ones that you have there next to them? Oh yeah, there's yep. fish. Or a big pycnodon. <laughs> the How many more pycnodon. big pycnodons do we have? Probably have a few more. Mm. Uh, Petite has some. True. And you. And yeah. True, I have some too. Mm. Yeah, we could look. A saw skate would be would be neat. Skate saw. Yes. 
Like the electric right, chainsaw. I'm gonna hop off for the night. I'm getting a little toyed. Joy. So, see y'all. See ya. See ya. See ya. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Let's go through submissions again. We love the taping because there's like space now. Wait, I still wanna join. Look at all those source gates. And I'm back. Hello. Hello, back. Welcome back. I am here. Oh, hello, Betty. I'm <sighs> finishing this herd of tiny dugong and then I'm calling it a night. Google. That sounds like a good idea. Googles. Wait a minute, why the frick is there an Among Us crewmate as a size chart for one of those sauce gates? Because there is. Uh, also, BMV Drug Cartel, welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. What? Huh, why do people keep saying that about my Ray? Joshua, are you doing illicit uh, business with certain cartels? Never. Hmm. Why? Do you want to buy some? Mr. Fring, where is my 25 kilobytes of cocaine? <laughs> there are 25 megabytes of cocaine here. I have it, Miguel. It'll be shipped over soon. There, yeah, as petite. Also, it might be that the people in Nic Nicaragua will get this first. <coughs> I laced it with rat poison, so sucks to be them. Damn. What a petite move. Don't worry, Petite. As a, as a form of thanking you, I'm going to give you a smashed potato that totally does not have rice in it. But I like raisins and smashed potatoes. <sighs> Why, thank you, Miguel. In return, I may consider giving you Ligma. No comment. <laughs> no comment. Head empty. No comment, me Anki? Yankee. That no, not Yankee. <laughs> I'm from the other side of North America. Yankee, yoinky, spoinky. Uh. Look at all these two guys. <laughs> Bunch of friends. Yeah, very friend shaped. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not I know what French. you're going for, but your mic cut out, and so it sounded like they're very French. <laughs> ah, the French. Ah, the French. Maybe I actually went there. Okay, I think there will be quite a few more species added tomorrow, but for now yeah, we are the, ending the this background. Yeah. The spots feel a bit empty in this one. Yeah, fancy, fancy. No, yes, that is a tear. No, it's actually a fold in. But... He's crying. Sad. Time Very to rewatch the Sumbition speedrun. Oh God. I mean, fang, it looks empty, we might use a uh, um, submission speedrun as a torch device in the future. <laughs> <laughs> submission speedrun. Ah, okay. It's a good one. That's true. We have a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you all very much for being here and uh, uh, staying for so long. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we will finish this one tomorrow and then go over to uh, the coastal realm where I also have already prepared a landscape for um, uh, and uh, yeah um, see you hopefully all tomorrow and uh, bye bye Night. 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 see you later Night. twitch viewers all the tape just waiting for my blinky my blinky It's 6 a.m. and good. it was worth it. I said we did pretty good today. Mm. Broken yeah, picture phone? <laughs>